Steven. I am Steven. My team is Swish Gaming. If you enjoy the content you see today, please give us a follow on YouTube at the Swish Gaming YT, Twitter the Swish Gaming, Facebook the Swish Gaming, and Twitch the Swish Gaming. Uh, today we are going to do uh, a Hammer League before I take off for the Lord of the Rings pre-release this evening. That should be pretty fun. But we've got a special guest on with us today who is a Hammer expert, uh, Disgruntled Elk, as most of you might know him from um, his uh, Twitter. Uh, but Elk, welcome on, man. How are you doing today? Hey, hey, Stephen. Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Anytime people mention the word Hammer, my ears start ringing. So I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do the thing. Okay, so first, um, let's kind of talk about, because I, I don't actually know this. What are your, why do people know you as like Hammer Guy? What are your accolades uh, with Hammer? Is this kind of the only deck you play in Modern? Or? Yeah, yeah. So um, I actually, like, I didn't really play much competitive Magic at all before uh, COVID. I was like a D&T Legacy guy exclusively. So I play crappy white cards in every format. Um but uh, kind of once, once they started hosting paper tournaments again, I'd been playing Hammer for a little bit, and the big Star City Games Dallas that came through, I think it was like a thousand people. This was in I think April of last year. Okay. Um, came through, and I ended up winning the event, and oh, so that's nice. where, yeah, Anurag was thankfully uh, covering the event, so I got some some notoriety on it, and I got some notification, and then. I did well at like the DreamHack Dallas that year. I top aided that. I just kind of was on a tear, and so people were like, "Hey, you know, tell me more." And so I started creating some content around it. Okay, very cool, man. Very cool. Well, yeah, we've got DBZ player in chat saying, "I love playing crappy white cards." I do. Yeah. Uh, so good, good to have another another fellow crappy white card player in the stream with us today. Um, so why why mono white instead of I know sometimes people play a black splash for Thoughtseize, sometimes people play the blue splash for like spell pierce Lavinia. Why do you choose mono white over uh, those options when you're playing hammer? Yeah, for sure. So I think um, Luris was kind of one of the big reasons to play black because he had a lot of advantage in cards like spell bomb, the the black spell bomb. Things like that. Lurus was obviously just like the best card ever printed, too. Okay. So once yeah. that once that got the axe, we had to look at kind of alternate splashes. Um, I think the blue splash is very respectable. I think it's actually completely reasonable to play. Spell Pierce is really good. Uh, Lavinia fixes a lot of your some of your more problematic matchups, like uh, Living End specifically, and Glimpse combo can be issues. Um, and then of course her countering the the Solitude is pretty disgusting as well. Mm -hmm. Um. So those are kind of the big reasons you would want to splash blue. Um, that being said, uh, mono white has always been pretty resilient, pretty reasonable. But the reason I think like mono white is not close, kind of the best option right now, is because one, there are a lot of blood moons running around, so having a bunch of basic planes is pretty nice. But two, um, surge of salvation gave the deck aim that it simply didn't have. Like blacksmith skill is great, but outside of blacksmith skill, you really didn't have any tricks you wanted to play that badly. Mm -hmm. Surge of salvation fully counters force of vigor it fully counters the fury it does kind of everything that blacksmith still wanted to do except for save one of your permanents against an engineered explosive so that's kind of how i landed on mono white as kind of the default just having really clean mana is pretty nice you also get to throw a couple canopy lands in there it is yeah and like you said a lot a lot of decks like blood moon is typically pretty good against hammer so it's nice to make it a little less um less problematic for sure Excuse me. Um, we've got DBZ player in chat who mentioned, funny enough, something that I mentioned before we even got into the stream today. Talk to us about the the main deck Solitudes and the Amerias calls here. Yeah. So um, so actually, I I did not. I came up with the idea for Hammer, I think, but I did not come up with the idea of jamming Solitude into generic white decks. Uh, yeah. That was I think Hank the Obese was playing like the Human Shining Shoal. Um, deck in modern and yep. i'm a sucker for bad white cards i love thalia so i played that that deck through a couple leagues and deck sweet i like it but the thing that i took away was we could probably play solitude in hammer if we just added four amarius calls as white sources mm -hmm. um and so the other reason there is because you especially now that you can just be mono white like having the solitude amarius calls plus blue sources I think can be really dicey, so I think your mana's too bad if you yeah. want to play a splash, but 
Solitude, so the, the hardest matchups for Hammer in the past, in my experience, obviously, like, Living End is a problem, Gwyn's, like I mentioned, um, but Dogma, Amulet Titan, sometimes the mirror match can be really challenging, and Solitude just really does a number to just kind of flip those on their head. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we were kind of talking beforehand, too, the, the Humans decks have been popping up all over the the five O dumps that I've seen. So the solitude of Maria's call must have some amount of use because they've all, they've pretty much all been doing that. So it's kind of cool. You were able to port it into this deck. Yeah, um, turns out solitude oh, go ahead. is just really, really good. Um, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Free spells turns out are pretty good. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to add is I actually cast the thing for five quite a bit. Okay. I could see um, that. I mean, we've got, you know, spring leaf drum, paradise mantle. We certainly have ways to ramp. And when uh, and in the games where you would think Solitude's medium, like Murktide, Four Color Control, things like that, those games will typically up to where you just start hard casting Solitude one, two, maybe three, and then you just win the game with normal beatdown. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. How's the volume now, DBZ? Was it better? Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> so we've kind of covered most of the things that I think I wanted. Oh, let's real quick. So we can't play the new Lord of the Rings cards today because they're not out on MTGO. But for NRG next week, with the, the the cards are legal next week for NRG, right? The Lord of the Rings cards, we can play with those. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually playing them in a 5K this weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. What What are some changes? Because there's a new card that I think uh, that you had in the list that a lot of people have been talking about. If it makes sense in Hammer, and it seems pretty good. What is that new card? Um, and how yeah. many copies would you play? How do you think it changes the deck? Yeah, so it's called Forge Anew. Um, okay. And it's a, it's a three-man enchantment, which the initial response is three-man is too much, and my response is sometimes I hardcast Solitude. Okay. Um, and so Forge Anew has, has the first line of text, I think, is a trap. The first line of text is when it ETBs, you bring a, a, an equipment from your graveyard to play, which is cool, but I think it's a trap because people think of it as a grindy sideboard card, when in reality... Two lines of text that matter are the second part and the third part. So I think of this, I might be mixing up which is which, but the second part is basically during your turn, you can equip as though they had flash. So you can move equipment around at instant speed on your turn. So if someone goes to bolt your thing, you can protect it. You can attack with all your creatures and you can move a hammer onto it after it blocks, things like that. The third line of text is also the, I think, the most underrated piece, which is, ba or I guess the second line is the instant speed. That's the underrated piece. The third piece is you can pay zero rather than pay the equip cost of the first ability uh, during each of your first of your turns. So basically, it's another equipper like Paladin, so your yeah. hammer costs zero to equip. Okay. Um, it's just, it's a really good piece. Um, I've always wanted more equippers, but Core Outfitter is kind of a terrible magic card. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I'm not huge on that. Makes sense. Um, so I would probably play two in the deck. I would cut the core outfitter for sure, and then I would probably move a surge of salvation to the board, and then I would cut the sanctifier. Okay, cool. All right, um, let's talk a little bit about your sideboard. Let's. So there are two mana tides in this sideboard. What what is <laughs> mana tide for? Do you think it's good? Is there like a shock factor when you play it on people, especially not in open deck lists like NRG tournaments are or locals? I guess your local scene might know that you're doing this if you've done it to them enough. But um, talk to us about Mana Tithe, because that is not a card you see very often in Modern anymore. Yeah, so I'm a known Mana Tithe hater. Um, I actually generally dislike the card quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but right now, because a lot of times people will just play it in every matchup, and I don't think that's where you want to be. I think a lot sure. of decks can just pay the one just yep. accidentally. Um, but where I do like it a lot, and I'm, I'm still testing it out, that's why I, I didn't include it on my most recent Patreon post, because I'm like, I don't want to post something that I haven't tested extensively. Okay. But the big reason that I like it is because, one, it's insane against creativity. Okay. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. A lot of times against creativity, I don't feel like I'm losing to the creativity, which you can counter a four or five mana spell. That's nice. But yeah. I'm new to either the Ren or usually the Teferi. And being able yeah. to tag a Teferi on the way down often kind of flips the game on its end. Yep, I've I've noticed that too. The the Teferi build of creativity feels so much better to me than like the Jund one when I've played against yeah. it at least. Teferi is so nuts when you're trying to combo. 
Yeah, I hate that card. Oh it's yeah, really it's really, really dumb. Really, really dumb. Really One of good. the many really dumb cards that exist in modern still. That is definitely up there. Just not allowing people to interact on your turn is insane. And Darth Stone, yeah, thank you. Good afternoon. How you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So the other reason I like Mad Five, yeah, you do get shock value. Um. But even if you don't get shock value, it plays really well with a couple other cards in your deck. Like one, if you're holding up white, it could be for Surge of Salvation. If you have a Cigar to Zade in play, it could be for a Hammer. Um, but also, Esper Sentinel means that they have to pay one additional on top. So if you have Esper Sentinel in play and they have two mana, they might bolt it and then choose not to pay out of fear of the mana tithe. Yep. I remember, I remember that Crack the Earth deck that was like kind of a flash <laughs> in the pan, but... So God, sick. that deck was so annoying, because, like, you really do not want to give your opponent cards off Esper Sentinel, but if they had the Mana Tithe, it was just so, so gross. So, yeah, Sentinel and Mana Tithe do play really well together, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's that's the Mana Tithe. Let's talk about kind of the rest of the sideboard, if you just want to kind of go down and explain. I mean, we've got the Surge, obviously. You've kind of already talked about Surge, so we don't really need to go into huge detail. I guess, where do you bring in the fourth Surge? What are the matchups where you want the fourth surge and what are the matchups where you might even go down on surges or not want surge at all. Yeah. So I bring the fourth surge in and I think every matchup that isn't called hammer time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll usually cut all the protection spells against the mirror match. Um, and I'm sure there are some other kind of weird like, aggressive decks where you don't really want it, Sure. but because surge covers literally every targeted removal spell it's yep. basically always good it's also markedly better against teferi than blacksmith skill because you can cast it in response to the tap yep. and now they can't bounce anything that makes sense even your urza um, saga which is kind of gross yeah because it's all your permanence right yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. protecting the saga is is huge game that's sick all right uh let's talk about the magistrates yeah, um, so Rhinos, I think, is actually quite a positive matchup for a Hammer player who kind of knows how to navigate things, especially okay. with Surge around. Yep. But being able to just stop Rhinos from coming into play is really, really nice. Um, yep. It's mainly because I think Living End is a pretty... I think it's a pretty bad matchup, especially if you don't have Spell Pierce. Mm -hmm. um, and so having four Draneths lets you very aggressively mulligan to just find a Draneth. Um the other piece is your living end matchup did get better because oftentimes what will happen is even if you're on the play, you go land, go or land, whatever. And then they grief you and just mm -hmm. take your hate piece. But now you get to, now you get to surge you land. That. Yep. You get to surge it and just blow them out. That's so gross, um, man. Surge sounds so awesome. I'm, I'm ready to have this. What's up, bubble tea. How are you doing, man? Um, but yeah, so surge is just really good. Uh, so Draneth is great against glimpse combo and, uh, living end basically just for those, but it's also really nice against, uh, like the grinding breach combo deck. Okay. Uh, just being able to shut off the breach from comboing. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. I can get closer, closer to the mic for y'all if you want. Yeah, I've, I've got them turned up pretty high. I guess, you know what? I'm just going to put them where my volume is. Cause mine's a little higher. What's up, bunny. How you doing? All right, how we'll uh we'll let it, let us know how the volume is from here. I've I've got him like right at where my volume is, and uh, cool. if he's too loud, I can turn it down. Or if it's good, just just keep us keep us posted. Um, all right, so the magistrates are for the cascade decks mostly. Um, how about this sanctifier and vec? What are the matchups where we want this sanctifier? Yeah, I'm really uh once again breaking new ground. You bring in sanctifier when they have black and or red cards. I like them there um but okay. honestly i think it's i so i think it's the card that like, once forge new comes out i'm just cutting it entirely because i think that card's kind of garbage in a lot of matchups okay that's fair um <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you guys are hilarious chats chats trolling funded by big solitude they're paying him to add it to hammer <laughs> that's great all right well speaking of solitude we've got two more solitudes here in the sideboard so what are the matchups where you want all four so I bring in Solitude against let me. Let me actually check my notes real okay, quick. Cool. So let's start with the matchups. I don't bring it in. I don't bring it against like a lot of the other combo decks, uh, specifically like spell based combo. So any like weird oops, all spells, things like that. Um, I'm not bringing it in, but I'm bringing at least one extra copy in against most matchups. Um, right now, I'm not sure if it's good against creativity, but you really want the Solitudes for like Amulet Titan, the mirror match, Yawgmoth, um 
because what solitude lets you do unlike other like you know path to exile effects is you can pressure them and you can set it up to where they have to respond proactively and then you get to also just blow them out with solitude um i think solitude's pretty bad against uh specifically rhinos because like yeah you have merc tide but we can beat a merc tide it's yeah. pretty irrelevant otherwise though um, so yeah, I also like bringing in all the solitudes against things like four color control because being able to tag an Omnath and or like a Risen Reef or a Nissa, something like that, even if you're two for wanting themselves, like you need to because otherwise that Omnath is going to be like three, four, five cards worth of value. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, how about these marches? Where do, where do you like the marches? Yeah, basically uh, marches exclusively for decks that play the card Urza Saga. Makes and sense. that's about it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense um, to me. And then obviously the Orvars, pretty much just for uh, creativity, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. All right. Well, we've spent about 15 minutes here covering the deck list. Um, sounds like, you know, Elk really knows what he's talking about here. So I'm I'm excited to have him kind of guide me through this. We got to see me play a deck that I had no idea how to play yesterday. So I figured I'd try and make sure that we... Uh, we would have an expert on today, and I had a uh, my buddy that K two in chat uh, is is doing a donation um, for getting some hammer content. So this is going to be awesome. Um, let's let's just hop right in. I'm ready to roll. Here we go. And oh, one more one last thing. Why do we call it Lonely Hammer? Oh, uh, one because when I said hey, Lonely and Hammer, no one believed me, so I was all alone. Okay. Um, and two, Solitude is lonely. So there you go. Fair enough. <laughs> um, would you bring in March versus Fair Midrange? Bubble T asked. Um, so I need to kind of know more about it. Um, un unless I expect multiple Chalice of the Voids, I'm probably not because okay. it's pretty inefficient. Okay. Um, I like Solitude against like Merktide and some number in against scam as well, because being able to like tag the Ragavan on one can be really important. And then the games will go long. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, it's really going to be it, the one thing that I find the hardest with hammer. It, it, it's much, it's a much more complex deck than something like rhinos. Like the reason I've been playing rhinos in modern uh, recently at events is like, I don't really play very much modern and rhinos is definitely a deck you can just pick up and win with. Like it's really not that complex. It's not that complicated. You mulligan into a cascade spell, you fight over things that make sense with your two for one cards and you're just doing something really powerful that wins the game. But hammer hammer is a lot more complicated and like what kind of hands you can keep, I think are a lot more complex. Like rhinos, you just like, like I said, typically you try to mulligan into a cascade spell. Hammer is not necessarily that way. Uh, what what is your kind of do you have like a heuristic for hands that are keepable or not keepable in hammer yeah and we can kind of walk through it um i will say if my seven isn't actively good i'll throw it back sure um so like this hand i think like on the surface it's like oh it looks pretty good i think this hand sucks okay because um, <laughs> we don't have any way to get a hammer right is that the problem with exactly okay Exactly. And your sixes are so free that unless your seven is excellent or you know you're against like a scam deck usually just freely mulligan it well this hand's insane right this is this is pretty good i, I mean i wish we had another, another land, land but yep, like I we're i mean we're on the draw though i'm keeping this hand all right what do we what do we bottom here um and as as much as i like the cookie i think i'm throwing the cookie all back. right cookie is back ginger brute out of here all right here we go first game with with hammer let's see how this goes now, I guess it'll depend what we draw, but how do you lead in this spot? Do you put your creature into play, especially if we draw a second land, or do we play the aid first? Um, so it depends on kind of what I'm against. If my opponent, um, if I think my opponent is more likely to have discard, then I'll run the aid out. If I think they're more likely to have like spell pierce, things like that, and, and they tap out, then I'll play the aid. Um, but Spire Bluff can be thinking Merktide or probably like living in those are my and, two yeah, picks those, right now those are the two things that i was thinking too yeah so i'm just jamming esper sentinel here jamming esper sentinel okay yeah. esper sentinel in the land here we go yeah, in the we land, the land. Nice. not quite the land we'd want because i feel like paladin would be pretty nice on turn two but maybe we'll draw another land who knows okay it is living yeah. in. Okay. so that's kind of so, good for us right because they can't really interact well i guess they could have force negation but yeah 
okay. This matchup's and, a problem. And they might just living end us on turn three here, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to do what we can. Oh, that, that's not great. I guess this probably means they didn't have another land in hand, though, so they probably have to top deck another land. Okay. So I didn't quite see what all they cycled. They Was cycled it architect raid, three, raid, raid, raid? Architects of Will. Okay. Um, so, like, frankly, I think we just go aid without playing the Ink Moth. Uh, play the aid then play the ink moth if it resolves i mean we're playing it either way but yeah we'll sure, play the just hide, lead with hide information okay i'm into that okay. and then yeah just ink moth and attack <laughs> it's yeah. pretty pretty straightforward yeah okay so they have the force um and so now i think we do play out the, the hammer for sure play out the hammer Okay, and that is because yeah. if we draw a white source, we move it over with the paladin, right? Uh, so if we hit white source, we get to go paladin, ornithopter, shadow spear, draw a card, equip both. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. What did they pitch to the force negation? That is a good question. Let's take a look. Shardless agents. So that means they have another cascader almost certainly <laughs> in their hand. Probably, yeah. Probably either and so this is... agent or a violent outburst obviously yeah. and we just hold our other creatures right we just wait we're not like that's exactly right okay cool we'll make sure that the living end only tags one creature okay at least they didn't have another cycler oh god all right well oh god and it's violent outburst that's pretty rude of our opponent there all right that's not quite it the beats all right <laughs> let's, uh, let's get just, in there for yeah, one okay cool at least we get to draw a card off the, the violent outburst i suppose yeah we might I mean, be able we might be able to beat this they're only putting nine power hmm. into play and neither, none of them are evasive in any way so <laughs> shadow spear hammer equip like something is still very good Maybe yeah, so i'm curious hold up so trying to think if there's a reason to play out the shadow spear okay sure so if we so a lot of hammer like the challenging lines are mapping out your mana for like the next two turns. Okay. Um so if we 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 play Shadow Spear here, um then the next turn if we spike a land, assuming we draw a card from the Yeah their Which cascade. We almost spell. certainly will. I think Sentinel's drawing yeah. a card here. I think violent outburst is like a thousand percent going to happen. Yeah, I think we do play out the Shadow Spear. Okay. Especially because we're going to draw a card off the Sentinel anyway, so, like, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I think it's pretty close, but when when I, I get to the point where I'm not sure, I usually just jam my spells, because whatever. That makes sense to me. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, there was a Cascade spell. Shocking. Shocking, but shocking. Yeah, Jay Lid, if they had the option, they probably would slow roll. That's a good point. If they had, like, two cyclers, they probably should slow roll, honestly, because this is not a very good living end. This is only nine power into a, a board where they will just die, like, unless they have maybe, like, a Brazen Borrower or whatever. Like, Paladin is going to beat them if we get it One thing, play, I think. One thing I will say is if we had hit a second White Source, I would have just run the Paladin out. Okay. Because we have a second one. Right, because the ideal position is you want them to you want to have a paladin in the yard and in hand because then if they living in you just keep your paladins around. Sure. Okay. Let's see what we draw. Yeah. They get to stack it, which is a little annoying, but what can you do? Yeah. It's actually only eight power. Or no, no, architect, yeah. Yeah. But three turn clock, not a two oh my god, that could uh, not have been worse. Well, they made sure of it. <laughs> Actual worst possible there. <laughs> All right. Uh, White Source and we're still in pretty good business here. Yeah, the scary thing is they did just stack the top three. So if they... And yeah. the way we've played has made it very obvious that we do have a Paladin in hand. So if they're heads up, if we didn't have two White Sources in the top three, they probably just made it so we won't be doing the thing. Likely, yeah. Okay. So... I think what we do you actually think of, like ornithopter equipping shadow spear play saga. Is that good? I, I think I think that's 100 percent what we're doing here. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it effectively gains us four life. Yep. So that's a lot. Um, I would yeah play out the saga and use 
the saga and the ink moth. Yeah. Bluff, bluff a surge. Makes sense. Okay. okay. Now are we just are we snapping off a block? We probably are, right? Because violent outburst just kills us. Yep, that's probably where I'm at. We'll we'll see how uh how gutsy I'm feeling when we get closer to it. Yeah. All right. Well, here you go. How do you feel? <laughs> so, so the reality, right, is if they have another cascade spell. We're probably dead regardless. Well, how many do they have? Anything Zero. in the yard right they now? They have none. They have no graveyard. Eh, okay. All right. Let's block. Okay. Yeah, we're actually your, your choice like, on which one. <laughs> another living end is like actively terrible. We just get a we just get a board. They don't. <laughs> we we net power on the exchange. Yeah, kind of insane. Okay. okay. Well, moment of truth. Oh boy, oh boy, that is okay. not it. So, I'm trying to think. Um. We're so make a construct, we're dead. Um, yeah, yeah, we are dead on board. We can make them attack, but yeah, we'll just. I, I trust that they'll do it. Yeah, we'll we'll save our time and <laughs> cool. just move on. Okay. Right, good. Yeah. Good news is it gets a lot better post board. So we want all the magistrates, right? So post board, we actually turn into a shitty taxes deck, and it becomes protect protect the hate bear, right? <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, okay. and is solitude good here? Or no. So I actually I kind of like bringing in an extra copy because tagging their grief is really good. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and you want the extra surge for sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, all the protection spells in the four Duranus, so it's eight cards. Um, and against them, I usually like cutting the um Esper Sentinels for sure because if you're drawing a card, you're dead. Um, okay. And then the Givers are great because they protect Draneth. Um, I think Core Outfitter is pretty medium here. Okay. Um, and then I usually like cutting, let's see, five. Maybe we won't bring in the, the Solitude. Uh, I'm going right. to leave the third Solitude in the board. It's fine. And then I think we just cut like two Ornithopters and call it today. Okay. And so Jalid's saying he loves Solitude, which I think surface level Solitude versus Living End seems good. But why Why do you st like stick into two? Is it because if they're Living Ending, you're probably losing anyway? Is that kind of the idea here? Oh, so, so the joke is if they Living End, you, your Solitude comes back and it tags something else, um, which is really nice. It's more, I mean, we could audit, like if you want, we can just cut a couple Ornithopters for a couple more Solitudes. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's let's yeah. go ahead and try that. I, I have no idea. I... I think, yeah, it's it's another way to maybe beat Living End, but I do agree that, like, usually the first Solitude isn't enough. You kind of need two, which I guess is maybe an argument to just have all four in the deck. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Go based on vibes. Yeah. And There we yeah. go. All right. Yeah, Solitude does effectively take out, like, two creatures, which is nice, and it, like, really pads your life total. So, certainly not unreasonable. What we got? Play. Wow, that is not a good hand. <laughs> this is not a good hand at not all. Not a good hand. All right, down to yep. six. This hand is also terrible. Down to five, right? Trash. 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 All right. Um. <laughs> Probably good enough. I don't hate this hand. Do we just get rid of the surges here? Keep one surge for sure. You want to keep one surge? Yes, yeah, so we keep one surge. So we don't get griefed, I suppose. Exactly. So yeah, we cut, we bought him a surge and probably Saga. a hammer. You like getting rid of hammer, huh? Yeah, because I I like being able to go sunbaked, hold up surge, turn to Saga. You're still holding up surge. Um, it's either Hammer or Paladin here. I see. Um, okay. So we're going to be really patient with our Paladin. Yeah, we're not, we're not comboing them because they usually have like multiple Force of Vigors and potentially Force of Negations post-board. And see. so it's really hard to combo them. Um, but yeah, it's either... I'm inclined to bottom the Hammer here. Okay. You like bottoming Hammer because we can tutor another one? Is that kind of why? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Cool. Also, it just, it makes their Force of Vigors just actively pretty poopy. So you said lead on sunbaked here? Yep. Because okay. they're more likely to grief into not the bolt myself go. 
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like it. Yep. Sometimes you do that, and it's just funny because you don't have the surge. Now, did we did we not bring in Mana Tithe? Is Mana Tithe not good here? Oh, I think we brought it in, right? Oh, did we? Okay, we might have. I, I might have missed it. I don't know. Mana Tithe is, is fine. It's like bad spell pierce against them, which is still, still okay. Still good enough, typically, right? Yep. All right, so you said Saga here? Yeah, I think we Saga here. We could also... I don't hate bolting and playing a Maria's Call Paladin. Yeah, because then, like... <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. We get, a, we get some pressure like it honestly because then also if they like if they living end us it puts a paladin in the yard which is kind of exactly where we want it okay cool let me do it also means that we don't have to we, we basically just get to use our mana every turn okay sounds good to me yeah there you go i mean a lot of people will say they like relic in this matchup I think it's pretty bad. Really? Um, okay. It's it's fine, but it's a one shot usually. Right. And, and you're it's, usually it's too slow to get it off Saga in most games, right? Exactly. Like, yeah, they they will have Ooh. done it already. Okay. This is great, right? Do we just yeah, play just... another Paladin? Uh. So I like going draw a card because I want to be able to hold up the as possible. Okay, that um, makes sense. Thank you very much. Appreciate the follow there. Uh, so you said just lead on mantle, sorry. So, so I'm trying to think. So we could lead on mantle, draw a card, or we could, this is Saga. No, because then we can't steal that. Yeah, yeah, we just play the mantle, draw a card. Mantle, draw, okay. Yeah. I, I agree, like, playing out everything is pretty greedy, which, you know, I'm a yeah. greedy boy, but. Yeah. <laughs> I agree, it is greedy. Sure. All right. Yeah, so now we just get to go saga giver here okay Good attack first probably seems fine yeah that makes sense to you Get him. now is there any world where you just hold the giver and the paladin or is that just too slow i think we want to play the giver out okay. um especially because if we draw like a draineth magistrate off the top uh, they don't sure, sure, yeah sure. yeah that it's... makes sense okay and now we can just start making constructs um yeah. i think we waker of waves i guess oh should i have equipped this yeah we probably should have equipped the mantle to the paladin but i also don't think it makes a huge difference so i wouldn't yeah, worry about it too much not. okay okay well, it yeah. wasn't waker of waves i guess that's good uh, the good news is can beat a living end here because we'll have the paladin back up yeah and then we can go get hammer and yeah. kind of look at him see what uh what happens yeah yeah All right yeah i think not equipping the mantle is pretty rough because of oh okay yeah we get to untap so now we can move it wherever we want right well we have to have two other artifacts oh right i forgot yeah 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 uh um so we think so i think we just attack with the paladin here probably okay if they want to cast endurance to block like i'm i'm fine just letting that happen frankly okay do they there's no way they have it do they have endurance against hammer probably not right sometimes they do to because sometimes they want to ambush the hate bears i've seen it happen which is why Duraneth Magistrate actually doesn't have power and toughness. Sure, because you're just never attacking with it. That makes exactly. Sense. Not if they, not if they have three. Not mana. if you think they're doing that silliness. Okay, that's fair. So, and now I think we just pass and we'll make a construct into turn. Yep, seems good. Okay. okay. Do they play around mana tithe? Right. Oh God, my kingdom. <laughs> And like I said, this is a, a pretty tough matchup, so okay. not super worried. Yeah, it's it's just like they're kind of like uh, Hammer's favorite against Rhinos because it's plan A matches up well against plan A there. Living End, it's plan A is Wrath the Board. Sure. This is like, yeah, this is pretty tough. 
Is there ever any argument to play like Hollowed Moonlight? Is Hollowed Moonlight a good one in Hammer ever, or what do you think? Ooh, I is? I have played Hollowed Moonlight. I think it's fine against Living End. It's fine against Creativity. Uh, I stopped playing it against Creativity once they started playing Teferi. Yeah, that makes yeah, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. The the dude the Teferi in Creativity is just so broken. <sighs> it just seems so much better than every other build. Ooh, like I I don't okay. understand why you'd not play Teferi in that deck at all. Personally, all right. We I assume are making a token, right? Yes. Hundred yep. percent. Now we no. might not be making a token on our upkeep, though. Right, almost certainly not. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, one, because if they sweep, then they get more value. But two, it means they can force a vigorous pretty freely. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's. Okay. Cool. Interesting. This is fine. We will still have at least two artifacts. Yep. So interestingly, something we could have done there instead of floating mana is just pass priority. Okay. Is then they have to then they have to living in kind of beforehand, and then we can make a construct. Uh, um, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's weird, but I, I dig it. I still in okay shape, though. Which is... Yeah. yeah. Should I have surged? Probably not, right? But No, because we're about to shuffle anyway. Okay, yeah, that's true. This is fine. There's a school where you don't tap Saga? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man, imagine if we had mana tied there. Oh, Whew. yeah. I mean... <laughs> I guess in theory they could have blue force, but they probably do they cut that in this matchup? I think they usually cut at least some number. Um imagine. yeah. Alright, what are we getting? Well, I think we need to get So it's tough, but I think we have to get a hammer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We could it's yeah, it's pretty close. Um and so now we get to play planes, play paladin. And hard equip the mantle. Okay. We're just like dead on board, right? Close. I guess we have to chump. We have to chump with this pure steel, right? Um, so you can chump and then search to prevent the damage. Oh. Yeah. It prevents all damage from red and black sources to creatures you control. Okay, that's kind of insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really fun one. Well, so, if, yeah. if we, how much is this to equip? Oh, only oh, one, one mana. Nice. Yes, we get to use the floating mana. Okay, cool. So, yeah, it's unfortunate we couldn't find a Dranith in the top. Oh, uh, yeah. Pizza is right. It is 15 either way because 5, 5, 4, take a damage from Canyon. Maybe they won't see it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they won't turn everything sideways. You can dream. You tap the we can't. It doesn't have haste. I wish. I wish we could tap pure steel. Paper only play. <laughs> Paper only play. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules. Paper only play. <laughs> we we have a name for that on this stream. It's called Paper Only Play. What a wara. All right, we're just. Wait, hold up. What are they bouncing? Surge, I guess we can surge and maybe they don't attack. I don't know. I've had weirder maybe things they happen. Maybe they think it's fog. Maybe there you go. Actual fog. <laughs> we can. Like, I'm trying to think what sequence of draws we could have. If we draw Shadow Spear, then they can just attack with that. Yeah, yeah we're probably we, we dead. Cut but all the Ornithopters. Ornithopters, ironically, like one of the only cards that, <laughs> like, if we if we didn't lose this, drew into an equipment, and then like had Ornithopter, another equipment or something, maybe. All right, our opponent is. Hey, cool. See? See? An actual, this is why we make them attack. An actual goofball. Just send the architect, dude. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Well, what we a still, silly boy. We still have to block because that's yeah. still lethal, but opponent missing three damage. I love modern, dude. I love that people <laughs> can just play living under rhinos and just do things like this, and it just doesn't even kind of matter. Ooh. Okay. If we I think draw we're still exactly dead. Shadow Spear, if we draw the Shadow Spear, we can make... Oh, no, because we don't take... 
we would take it damage. No. Yeah, because we because we use all of our mana all to right, play well, the maybe Colossus our Samurai. Opponent is stupid again. Who knows? Maybe they just send Ooh. everything. Opponent being stupid is a powerful line. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's like we needed to draw the Shadow Spear there. Oh, they have a force. Okay. <laughs> maybe it's a force of bigger. Yeah. It it doesn't matter. No. No, it doesn't. Oh, force negation. Okay. Nice. Okay. Sure. Well, you gotta love cool. it. You gotta love it. All right. Well, that's uh, kind of a rough round one there, but. I don't feel like we really could have done much differently. Uh, we mold to five game two. Did we mold to five game one as well? We or six? mold to five, I think, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You hear, that is, I think, kind of the good decks in Modern. Like, all the good decks mulligan fairly aggressively because mm -hmm. they just, like, skip. maybe not Murktide. That one doesn't really want to mulligan aggressively because it's fairly fair, but... Uh, when you think about, like, Breach decks, like, Breach can erase a mulligan so fast. All the Renin 6 decks can easily erase a mulligan by just playing a Ren. Um, Scam, just, like, can, I watched Larry win a game in the challenge last week on a mold of four in game one. He just griefed his opponent twice with four cards, and they just were on Tron. We took the map, and their deck just didn't function, and they lost the game. <laughs> Um, oh, you love to see when it. When you think about, like, this deck can easily win on five. Rhinos can easily win on five. Rhinos doesn't like the mulligan because of all the, like, two-for-ones and stuff that inherently the deck plays. But, I mean, it can still easily win on, on a mold of five. Yeah. If you aren't playing a deck that can mulligan well, you're probably not playing a good modern deck. Yeah, you're you're playing a, a fair modern deck, which is suspect, certainly. <laughs> just just Murktide is fine. Yeah, Mur Murktide's fine. I think, like, the Shadow decks are honestly, like, okay, too. But, yeah, I mean, Modern is very not fair. It's a lot of not also, fair. Also, we, uh, we, we made the poor choice of losing the die roll twice. That's true. Oh, so, you know, like, what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? CVZ player <laughs> fair? Question mark, question mark. Yeah. Murktide uh, isn't okay, technically cheating. So this guy's cheating. last deck, so we might be playing a mirror, but he 5-0'd like 19 days ago, so easily could have switched decks. All right. We lost the die roll again. Um, uh, we hand. I mean, this is hand's kind awesome. of hilarious, right? We just hand's pure steel, awesome. Pure steel hammer, 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 equip it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, I'm probably playing out the, the first hammer this turn. Okay, sure. But we'll see what we draw, but... We'll say uh, we are definitely favored if it is a mirror match because of Solitude. Sure, that makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, maybe they're just playing Burn? Well, this hand is pretty nutty against Burn, I must say. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, now we just do this on turn one, right? Uh, Yeah, seems okay, pretty good. Great, great. I'm glad, glad we agree. Ask for Sentinel, please. Your turn. Ow. It is a little awkward yeah. that our land bolts ourselves if we put it in untapped. So maybe that's True. an argument. Just like play a tap next turn, play hammer, go. So but. yeah, we could consider that. Um, we could also just like we'll see what we draw and then kind of go from there. Oh, well, beautiful. Hey, see, Thank you. Goblin, never, never Goblin didn't have is it. Guiding the way today. This is um, nice. So the question is, are we blocking? And I don't think we are. No, I, I don't think so either. Let's keep our second threat in play. I think it's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing we also could consider here is just going hammer, hammer. Yeah, Urza Saga, hammer, hammer. And then next turn we can go pure steel, hammer, try to equip. Or actually, we wouldn't even play the other one because that would put a trigger so we could like interact with it. Okay, cool. We'll draw a card. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, wow. We we have too many cards. I don't know what to do. This is ridiculous. Um, yeah. So we could, I kind of want to set up an Ink Moth kill, but I think it might be too slow. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, it, it isn't too slow. It just, we just, I mean, we could just like set it up, right? It's kind of, I mean, I guess it's, if they have an instant, we lose, but we do just like have that yeah. kill next turn. So I'm thinking just it's either instant. play Paladin here or we can play like, Ink Moth, Aid, Hammer. I want to use all of our mana for sure. Um, 
yeah. can't Ink Moth kill next turn, even if we play aid, right? We animate. T- we can, but if they have any. Yeah, bolt, if, they, we... if they have Bolt or Blaze, they get us if they leave up yeah. two mana, which at this point they will. They're just going to leave up an instant every. You know, they're always going to bluff it. Yeah. So I kind of like just going Saga, aid, hammer, past yeah, turn. That's kind of what I was thinking too. And then next turn, we can put them to the test. Yeah, yeah, Jalid. I'm thinking get that Shadow Spear. Concern, of course, is we might not have the time, but yeah, just getting all of our shit out there is pretty helpful. Makes sense. I'm in. Um, this also this also means that if we hit like an Ornithopter off the top, we'll have Metalcraft for the Paladin. Yep. I guess we can we can just pass the turn and just cast the hammer on their turn. That makes. Well, remember though, we are gonna have to move to cleanup, so we have to discard more cards sure. if we do that. So yeah. probably a little cute. Do you agree? Jam it. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree. Just throw it in there. Yeah, it's not like we're disguising a lot with colorless mana. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you think we pitch here? Probably a Marius call. Uh, but the only thing about a Marius call is it is a white card to pitch to Solitude later. Yeah. Uh, I think we get rid of the second aid. Okay. Yeah, I like the the Mary's call for sure because yeah, we're just it's a free card to pitch to Solitude. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well. All right. Goblin Guide just being a man's best friend today. This is uh, on us like four cards this game. He has well, done us a uh, lot so of damage. Have... So I guess the the trade off <laughs> is, you know. All right. Skewer the critics. Critics have indeed been okay. Right. okay. Knew about that. Oh, so obviously so, we're gonna pierce steel. Are we? I think we might. So the consideration is also just play Ink Moth, make a construct, and chump. It would actually trade, right? It would trade. Um, so that would force them to point a burn spell at the construct, um, and then we and then we have them dead with the Ink Moth kill. Mm, okay. I think I I think I like just Ink Moth. Um, make a construct when they go to attacks. <sighs> That's interesting. The pure steel line is better against like searing blaze because they don't have a land drop right now. If we do the saga line, we're just dead to blaze. Um, land drop blaze, but I mean they the, just pop the construct. Oh, sorry, go construct ahead. will be a two two, right? Right, but they just go. So I'm assuming. So if they don't have a, if their hand is like not two burn spells, they're gonna go like end step, pop, uh, fiery islet, draw to three, draw to four, play land, go to three cards in hand, attack both, and then if we go make sure. construct and they have blaze, they go blaze your construct. You go to four. The two twos kill us. Okay. So, so yeah, I, we I could. We like could just. just I kind of like just putting him to the test. The deck has exactly four lightning bolts, and that's like the only way they can interact at instant speed anymore with creatures because they don't like play shard volley or any of that so it kind of just has to be bolt so um, keep they... in mind the let, let's think about it right so yeah. if we go paladin pass they do something then we can hammer in response exactly. right um and if they don't then we can just trade with the paladin yeah. and then next turn we will have effectively four mana we can go get a cookie monster float the mana and then put two hammers onto it yeah okay this is fine yeah i think i think paladin plays around more a little better and, and it punishes them for like boros charming us or whatever here because then we just put them to the test again we make if they boros first. charm us we're probably dead so yeah okay i mean they'll that. yeah we're, we're gonna make them <laughs> this play like makes them have two burn spells and you know puts them in a, in a rougher spot punishes them for tapping mana okay okay i mean we're probably just dead i'm just gonna respond okay. and, and do this now oh for sure and pray yeah Oh, maybe we hit a solitude. Oh, that would be naughty. Good. And we can just gain twelve life. That would be absolutely nonsense. Okay. We'll draw uh, another card. We can't. This was end step, right? Oh, we can flash it in. But we have the yeah, we have the aid. <laughs> Let's go. Let's dude. go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, solitude, please, one time. Come on. Oh, come on. Dang it. Oh, that would have been so good, too. Man, oh, my God. Man. All right. Fade one draw. Yeah, we We're dead. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Well, we did our best. Did our best. We again <laughs> lost the die roll, and we're again punished immensely. All right. I assume Solitude's good here. Yeah, Solitude is busted. Surge is also um, busted, right? 
Scourge is also confirmed busted. And then probably the Sanctifier. Yeah, Sanctifier Sanctifier seems busted. How do you like Mana Tithe versus Burn? Is that real or? Eh, no. Nah. Okay. So what what are we cutting? Versus burn? Um. So I think Ornithopter is like pretty bad. So definitely trimming a couple of those. Ornithopter. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're on the play, so I like all the Sentinels. Um, yep. I think Cauldra is pretty medium because we just don't need it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I think the core outfitter is pretty bad because they play removal spells. Uh huh. And that's it. There you go. Okay, uh -huh. 60. Perfect. There we go. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, and the reason Solitude is so good in this matchup, one, because it's a removal spell, but two, if they ever deflecting Palm you, you just hit your own creature to gain like 12 life. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, this hand's insane, right? Uh, it's it's very good, yeah. Okay. It's pretty easy. Now, how do you like leading here? I assume it's, is it Drum on turn one and then Stoneforge, go get Hammer or Shadow Spear and then cast Ginger Brute? Um, so I think it's, uh, yeah, so it's definitely Drum on one and then turn two, Stoneforge, um, probably, is... We probably play the Ginger Brute and attack, but it depends. Okay. Um, we will probably go get a Shadow Spear, to be honest, because this Paladin might be getting exiled to the Solitude. Sure. Yeah, j -Lid, it's definitely interesting, isn't it? There are definitely some sweet matchups in Modern, for sure. There, hey. there are some really fun ones. There are also just some really, really not interesting, not fun decks, in my opinion, but... This this is certainly a, a sweet one. I think Hammer is one of the one of the cooler decks in modern, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> so many like, people just, just salt so off. Much, there there are so many decks that I just do not think are even remotely interesting. Rhinos is one of them. Like I play Rhinos because it's really good, but it's certainly one of the easiest decks I've ever played. And if somebody tells you that rhinos is like complex or complicated, they're certainly lying to you. <laughs> it, it um, had like the only real decisions in that deck are like your for, like when to force, when to fury, and like which like when to go for your cascade cards versus when to just flash stuff in. And that's like kind of it. Those are really the only decisions that that deck makes. Yeah. I would agree with uh, chat. Like, Hammer versus Shadow, Hammer versus Murktide, so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say Shadow's favored, Elk? I always felt like I, it was a little favored for Shadow, but... It, I think it is, yeah. It depends on their configuration, but yeah. The Surge the main deck dress down oh, deck. That was actually a pretty good draw, because now we just tutor for Hammer, right? Uh, yeah. Seems good. Yeah. Could also tutor for a Paradise Mantle. Oh. I think it's Hammer. I think we're getting a little too cute, but, okay. you know, okay. something to consider. Okay. Um, so, the question is... Are we playing the Ginger Brute? Probably, right? Yeah. Well, so the question is, are we playing out the Hammer? I feel like the answer is yes. Okay, so... Oh, I'm think about oh, what the next. What? The oh, they cool. Okay. What? They yeah. conceded the match? They what just is knew. <laughs> what is this, dude? We're trying to make content. People are just conceding in game two? Up a game? I don't get it, man. I don't, dude. I, I'm, I'm too sorry. powerful. That stuff, that, like, legit tilts me more than losing the top decks. Honestly. <laughs> what that is, is so stupid. What are you doing? You're up a game. I guess, yeah, they, I don't, that is somebody who had to be, like, playing between work or something, right? There's just no way. That's yeah. so absurd. Maybe a meteor hit their house. <laughs> he noticed that you were the back-to-back -back NRG champ had to concede. Why? He's up a game, man. Come on, dude. But it's, it's more embarrassing to lose the match when you're up a game. Yeah, that's so dumb. Weren't worth the time. God, that's Jeez. so ridiculous, dude. All right, well, we want a die roll. I guess if there were ever a... T All right, well, this hand is atrocious, right? Uh, hold up. Okay. On the, on the play, I don't hate it in the blind. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Because if I, I, I re there's a really. saga? Yeah, I mean, like, that will just win games. Um, I knew what we were against. 
might affect me. But like, if we're just against like blue white control, they're just dead, right? Oh yeah, they lose. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm on the draw. I'm like throwing this back every time. But almost I think on the play, this not is fine. Blue white though, because blue white is almost always Kahira, or at least right now it is, because Wafo's most recent list was Kahira, and most blue whites I've seen have been copying Wafo sure. from last weekend. I think we keep and go okay. like Horizon Canopy Drum. I guess drum. Merktide can't really beat Triple Saga very well either. It's going to be okay, extremely dead, especially with Solitude to protect us from the Merc. Yeah. That is true. It is scam proof too. We lead on Ink Moth, right? I think Horizon Canopy because we definitely want to play out a Stoneforge on two if we draw it. We could. Oh, because you want to play Saga on yeah. turn two. It, okay, so you're willing to just take a fair amount of damage from this canopy. Are we are we I gonna play the drum? Absolutely. Yeah. Go off the green man, I love it. Yep. Gotta <laughs> gotta really show him. Sure. Like I have up. no respect for you, opponent. Yeah, Jayla, this hand very likely oh, is it a mirror? Is this hand good in the mirror? Or uh, it could I be squadron it's... hawks, right, Jaylid? Could be hawks. <laughs> Squawks, let's go. Nope, it's it a mirror match. Like mirror. Well, we have Solitude, which is really good in the mirror, right? Maybe we'll even find another colored card. That would be gas. Oh, how about a planes? All right, so we just play. How good it is, yeah. Pass, right? I mean, see what their hand is. We might lose. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, this is the new build of Hawks, <laughs> Jaylid. <laughs> The, the Springleaf Drum Hawks deck. Looks like opponent kept a pretty similar hand to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do like how Solitude lines up. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Ever, <laughs> Ink Moth you know, it is. Draw a white card. <laughs> All right. So Ink Moth. Pass. Oh. Hmm? We'll note that we like, very potentially could just be hard casting this Solitude this that game as true. well. That is true. Yeah. 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 Very true. Kind of funny. Great. I love it. What a strange game. <laughs> That's really how the hammer the mirror goes. It really just shows the power versus Saga, though. Such a, yeah. just another completely ridiculous card. It's pretty gross. Like, what if we banned versus Saga? I'm like, this deck is not playable. That's right. what happens. Right. Hawks becomes a ramp spell. That's true, Jaylid. <laughs> yeah, there have been hey. some very weird ones for sure. Pretty odd. but We call content. Yeah, right, that's yeah. very true. Make a thing. Off the green. Got to do it off green. All right. How are we making another construct here? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Surge is a white card, so that's gas. <laughs> it's like perfect. Um, yeah, and just pay to life, I think, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, are we just tutoring the Shadow Spear here? Um, might be tutoring an Ornithopter. Okay. So, um, I mean, Shadow Spear is pretty good. That was kind of my thinking. We could even it's either Shadow it. Spear, it's either Shadow Spear if we want to find an equipper or ornithopter yeah get a drum um i think we're just getting a shadow spear though yeah I think that's... shadow spear well, here is pretty nice right we just well, if we i'm just trying to think if we get another drum can we go saga back to back oh sure okay i don't think we want to though yeah i think we just go get a shadow spear yeah i like starting to get some damage maybe all right so we play another saga right yeah, absolutely. And now we equip this here. X out. Should have added green again. Big punt on yeah. that part, but <laughs> just okay. throwing away value. Combat five U. Yeah. Hopefully go. they like have a hammer in hand and yeah, they make a construct. In. Yeah, hopefully they yep. just go all in on their construct with like hammers and shadow yeah. spear, and then we just blow them out with solitude and they click the concede button, much like our last burn opponent did. <laughs> Shucks, they did not. All right, here we go. Will yeah. they go in? I guess we're about to learn if they. Uh, I guess I mean they're definitely going to tutor the hammer and equip, right? That's pretty. I would assume so. Yeah, they. 
other consideration is they could i'm hoping they like don't have another land and they just put a second hammer on this thing go for the kill and we solitude in response yeah but might be might be too ambitious of a dream and we let all this happen right because we want them even though they gain a ridiculous amount of life we want them to go more all in absolutely they probably okay. won't see this solitude coming either right because this is not very standard i don't think uh it's, it's not down. it's not as popular okay. um it's like i think it should be but yeah. you know i'm me <laughs> um they could also just have like surge or whatever in their hand all right yeah no blocks All right. All right. Not bad, honestly. No. Pure steel. Okay. okay. For sure. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. So we let this happen. Okay. I think we're just gonna hard cast the solitude. That's what and I was the about paladin. to ask. Yep. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. So, obviously, giving we, up yeah, the... Yeah, we have to... Giving up a, a construct is a little loose. I kind of want this to just still be a free spell yeah. and just go make thing play Sentinel. So, so, keep in mind, you can also flash in the Solitude and tap it for the drum. Yeah, true. So, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I think we just play another Saga here, though. Saga, okay. Yeah, and then you can... Third, you can uh, Solitude, Pitch, Surge, tag the Paladin, and then play Esper Sentinel to, like, really pump up the jam on your team. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so do I need to, like, hold priority or anything here? Hold control? Um, I don't think you do, but, you like, there's no harm in doing it. I'm going Moda. to, just so <laughs> we don't have a classic stream moment here of me clicking through something on accident. Okay, so... Uh, uh, so you put the evoke on the tr on the stack first. Yep. Okay. Do this there. Then Blow now we can tap down. the drum. Okay. Now we're good. Bang. Okay. Are we supposed to animate Ink Moth here as well? So that's what I'm trying to think of. Yeah, we can just tap the Ink Moth to itself here. Yeah, we have to take one point of damage, but... Well, trying to think if we might want the Ink Moth to block, but I don't think we do. I think we, yeah, just make a Construct, animate the Ink Moth, and get in for maybe eight, right? Just swinging with this and then leaving this back to block. I think... To be safe. I just... Well, let's... I'm going to make a thing. Yeah, we're definitely making the Construct. We're going to make That's a thing. That's the easy part. We still have the Animate available if we want it. Okay. It deals them one more point of damage and then keeps us the same life total. No, this is probably fine. So it's just free, right? I think it's just free, but adds a point of damage. Oh yeah, we're definitely we're definitely animating the Ink Moth. I'm just curious if we're attacking with both, and I don't think we are. Sure. Yeah, it's kind of nice to just have block block here, because then we don't just lose. Like we don't have to chump with Let's our see. sentinel. If we if we do attack with both, it's 15 damage. Put them to 10. And like, and then we're making two constructs. I don't think it mattered which we did, but okay. it was close. Well, opponents had enough. Opponents really just not trying to play complicated <laughs> games today. They do not cool. want to think. Nope. So yeah, those <laughs> bottom four cards look real good. J lid. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Solid. <laughs> March. March. A uh, needle. I like. Needle surge is awful here, right? Correct. One Correct. Where it's bad. Nope. And. Um, so on the play, I like Esper Sentinel, but I do like trimming it, um... On the draw? I like trimming it, like, honestly, both ways. On the play, on the draw, I like to just cut them all. Okay. But I like cutting two. Yeah, so I think this is fine. here we're on the draw, so 
Am I supposed to cut all of them? Yeah, we're on the... Yeah, cut them all. Uh, okay. Actually, do we need to? Yeah. We I probably don't need to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two in. Here we go. Surge I will say in the Cauldra games, that's kind of funny actually. I have I have killed a Cauldra by activating Shadow Spear blocking and surging. Oh my god. That's <laughs> it was, so stupid. Because they couldn't even they couldn't even give their creature pro colorless or the cauldra falls off. This hand's good, right? Uh yeah. That's I mean we, we have a turn two. Is it turn two equip? No, not quite. Yeah. Is this yeah, it's still fine, testing? Though. Not quite, Inahara. This is NRG testing, so <laughs> not quite. Not quite PT testing. But yeah. I got I me mean, in theory it is. We're playing modern, which is the next PT format, and this is a very real deck. Can you get Dewey to do push ups? Gosh dang it, man. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta add a Dewey push up counter on there now too. We've started to I have so many push ups that I owe people push up sit ups that we need to just start Blowing them over to Dewey and Larry. The overflow push-up bracket. It's so ridiculous, dude. Genocide just comes in here and just does 10 every hour, every day. It's gotten out of control. All right, well, we're going to keep... Yeah. Ornithopter would be busted. Ornithopter is, I think, one of our better draws. We'd honestly take any white card in the deck over Ornithopter here. Okay, sure. That's good, too. So we almost have no bad draws, then, is, is what... Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, Saga that one's was good the next too. thing I was going to say. That's also a good draw. So I just go turn one drum, right? He's drum, pass, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we do have confirmation here from their Sea Chrome Coast that they are not on Solitude. Okay. Blue blue can't do the Solitudes, you don't think? Too greedy? Uh, not reasonably, because okay. you have four Amarius calls. It's just tough to get all the, the yeah. sources you need. You're donating for me to play Leaf Hawks? What in the... What is that? The push-ups are out of stock, wise words. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we really want to draw a white card, right? Yeah. Probably best draw on the deck. For sure, for sure. That's the other reason I, I don't mind Esper Sentinel. All right. Okay, sweet. They didn't have anything. They didn't have a hammer, which is great. Ooh. Okay, well, we've got a lot of options with this turn. I'm curious what you want to do. So, I don't like going Saga because I feel like they have a march here. Okay. Um, I don't hate just going, like, Paladin Hammer. And then if they, like, pierce it, that's fine. Um, Because then we have another one a couple turns later off the Saga, I think. Um... Okay. Could we could also like just play the saga and if they have the march, that's fine, but I don't like that. I like uh I like paladin hammer here. Yeah, it seems like a massive blowout. Okay. Paladin hammer. Actually, hold up. What if we just go ginger brute? Sure. I think that's fine. Yeah, too. Because that way they're yeah, they probably have spell pierce or march would be my two picks. Yeah. Okay, so we want to do this. Yeah. Um, the only reason I want to hold the Cauldra Illid is because, or I hold the Stoneforge is because I want to pitch it to the Solitude potentially. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Theoretically, they shouldn't have protection spells in their deck post board, but. <laughs> yep, that makes sense too. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm Solituding now. No cards for you, opponent. No cards. Yeah, free spells, so great. Really good. So fun. <laughs> turns out, turns out. Right. Now we get to put the hammer on the ginger brute. Oh, Let's yeah, go. dude. Um, dude, give him the old sugar oh, rush. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. We get to play around uh, spell pierce here, too. Yeah. So, yeah, we just play the saga first. Yeah. Watch me, you won't. Okay, he did not. Hammer first. I like hammer first. 
Oh, that's the oh, Shadow Speed yeah, was pretty dude. disgusting. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Good ah! game. GG. Solitude, baby. <laughs> Two one on the scoreboard. Really one one, but the burn player just left the match. But we'll you know we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, too much emotional damage to the burn player. This hand is absurd, right? Well, uh, we don't have a hammer, uh, right? Yeah, right, we don't have an equipment. Never mind. It's a mulligan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I saw all the equippers and got excited. <laughs> but yeah, there's... Okay, yep. well. Mulligan we go. This hand's also very bad. All right, down to five we go again. <laughs> all right, so Hinohara says solitude and hammer. Why? Um, because it's real good. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I can uh, I can go into a little more depth. So, like we just saw in that last matchup, it's it's insane in the mirror match. Uh, it's very good against Yogmoth and Amulet Titan, which are two of your hardest matchups as Hammer. Um, I would estimate you get at least ten percentage points in those matchups with Solitude. Um, and it's just a really really good card. Um, like the matchups where you want removal, but it's bad. Like, but you don't want a card like Path to Exile. It being a body is just a very real thing. Okay, we're down to five. Do I just keep I this mean, in prey? Yeah, I think we keep this in prey. And bottom, like, one of the Amarius calls and probably the aid. The aid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's close, but it yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if this is a mirror again. <laughs> Another piece of okay. Do we just lead Esper Sentinel to try and maybe get yeah. some cards? Okay. Most every time I'm going to lead Esper Sentinel. Okay. One of the arguments against Giver is like, oh, it makes these turns awkward. It's like, no, just, just lead with Esper Sentinel and you play Giver on two or three. It's okay. fine. Okay, so creativity. creativity. Probably. Hey, Although, no, no way. Marsh Flats is a terrible land in creativity. Yeah, there's, it doesn't make any sense. No way. It's probably, it's probably just some weird control deck. It could be like, yeah, Shadow wouldn't play this either. No. In no theory, idea. you know what? It could just be blue-white control maybe playing. Okay, nope. I, I have no clue. Um, yeah, just get in there for one. All right. So, Wise Warns asks, "Is there a build that we could play, uh, Solitude and Spell Pierce? Is that possible? I, or no? It's it's this version where you're playing the Mana Tides. Um, sure. Spell Pierce, like Spell Pierce, you you can technically make it work, but your mana is so bad. All right. It is. We, what are we doing with this? Uh, it's just give her ink moth pass. Okay. Yeah. Reanimator of some kind? Yeah, they could just be a Gorio stack. Static Grip, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, Gorio's deck would make sense with this lead. Would. Gorio's, or yeah, it could be a zoo deck. I don't know. People, people be wild and out here. Yeah, Zoo typically has Gigantha, so I'd be surprised if it's Zoo, but Static, thank you very much. Howdy, how you doing? I did I did try a version with both Solitude and Spell Pierce, and the reality I got to was like you're down to like one or two basics if you have fetches in your deck, and I think you want fetches in that version, so it's just pizza, really hard to make both. Pizza I mean it could be creativity, but Marsh Flats is so bad. It's just like doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you just play 12 red fetch? Maybe they're playing more than 12 fetches, I guess, and Marsh Flats is, like, the 13th or 14th fetch. In theory, that's possible, I guess. I have trouble believing... Well, no, because you have, you have what, 16 red fetches you can play, right? Yeah, you're right. And Marsh Flats yeah. can't grab Dwarven Mine, so there's just yeah. no way. It's... I have no idea. I think we're just against a... a deck of magic cards uh, yeah i think i think the re the reanimator estimation is is probably makes sense i don't know this is a really weird start some kind of grixis control deck elk mentioned could definitely be possible we'll just see what happens yikes sure yeah i mean <laughs> it, it is be, what it, it is could be a variation of scam i could. guess we we're pro i'm expecting to get scammed here honestly i'm expecting an undying effect yeah. Okay. Yeah. Solves. They're they're okay. Maybe not. All right. I I have no idea what's going on. Elementals with Xander's Lounge. Fable. That's uh, disgusting. Okay. It's it's just it's just a trade binder. Yeah, it's just good cards. Like, good 
good modern legal cards. Mm. Oh, let's yeah. Have, All right. Have a draw. We should shock <laughs> this in. Let's draw a card. And so. People will like crap all over Paradise Mantle. These are the things that Paradise Mantle does that Springleaf Drum doesn't, oh, um, doesn't oh. do. Eh. We're two for two on just drawing Caldera <laughs> today. Uh, so yeah, we probably equip the Mantle here, right? Yeah, that makes sense. No real reason not to, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's Calibrated Blast with Fable. That might have been before we saw Fable. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess Fable kind of makes sense in Calibrated Blast. You dig to the blasts. Maybe maybe it gets rid of your terrible cards. Well, Fury we also saw Lightning Bolt, too, right? right? They don't usually play Fury either. Witch's Cottage. Okay, we've seen multiple bolts. I think it's just... Okay, okay it's just a weird deck. Some Got it. variation of Zoo. All right, sure. <laughs> so good. Yeah, just a weird deck is about all you can say. That um, we may very well lose to. I mean, we we the hand was not great to begin with, and then we've drawn pretty poorly. I think it's <laughs> I agree. A... <laughs> oh, so uh, we just play land, play paladin. I think we hold the paladin. We hold the paladin. Yeah. Okay. So do we? We, we play one. land, right? We're definitely playing land. Okay. Yeah. All right. By Luris. <laughs> Buy Luris would be pretty good here, huh? Yeah. Give us Luris. Be a back. huge fan. Free Luris. Yeah, I'll, I'll trade my Cauldra for we Luris. We can't draw this stupid Cauldra anymore either. <laughs> so I will say, Cauldra feels bad to draw, except for when you also have Stoneforge Mystic, and then your opponent doesn't kill the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bunny. Appreciate it. We'll have to. Apparently, the list. Somebody did yeah. something with this deck, I guess. Okay. okay, it's it is a weird calibrated blast list. All right, not a huge fan of calibrated blast in a list where you can hit ones, but okay. I guess you stack it with the witch's cottage is the idea. Yeah, that is the idea. That's actually really cool. I think Spike probably put this together. Yeah, as... I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it adds a bunch of consistency, which is pretty neat. Hmm. I mean, yeah, before Spike, witch's cottage was certainly not a modern card, but. Correct. Well, well, well. Look who was right. That's right, Inahara. You're a genius, dude. We're wrong. It's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, hammer. Jeez. All right, we can we can move on. We can move on. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can. Okay. All right. Do they have anything super spicy in the sideboard? I'm curious. Yeah, go ahead. Take a uh, look. Take a look. Paths of peril, wear tear. Nine lives. What the? F <laughs> Whoa. Pretty sure All that right. qualifies you for the PT. Yeah, you know, Hara, that, that's true. If deck recognition was uh, was a requirement to getting on the PT. Okay. Um, what? You'd be in. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, the, the other Surge is really good against Calibrated Blast because they cast it and it's a delayed trigger, so they have to hit their own thing. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so stupid okay. it's really good i would assume um, mana tithe might be okay in this matchup too honestly i i don't hate it it's more of do we have enough to cut yeah um, i think sanctifier is obviously very good yeah um i think core outfitters probably well just have well they have leyline bindings too yeah we can cut the uh the core outfitter for sure okay. um we against these decks i usually like cutting basically all the uh the ornithopters because usually they will just try to grind you into dust makes sense um and then could bring in like we're on the play so we could bring in they have other creatures they have they have scion avu three yeah probably just like both manatives and the one one solitude maybe i dig it i'm in that are there any cards we want to needle? I don't think so. Hit them with a mana tithe. We're going to try our best, Jay Lid. <laughs> we are going to try our That's best. That's why we're here. Who would like to play first? Jeez, oh, Pete's, dude. Get away from me, Cultra, completely, please. <laughs> so bad. All right, well, we're going to go to six. Yep. 
Okay, this sand looks pretty good to me. Sand's good. All right, keep. All right, what are we bottoming? Is it Amaria's Call? Uh, I like Amaria's Call because we do have all the solitudes in the deck. I Three think it's planes. Yeah. Planes, okay. Goodbye, planes. Man. I'm just leading on... Uh, actually, do I lead on drum? I lead on drum, right? Because then I can go mystic aid? Exactly. Okay. We'll also say that we might be getting the cauldron with the Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, please, no. Please, no. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Don't make me... Oh, so... okay. Well, now it's more... All right. Woo! Okay, yeah. I like it. Not want to confirm. It's... No shadow spear. We don't just want to grab uh, not, shadow not spear. the shadow spear. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Caldra. Okay. All right. I'm gonna listen. Because I I like this because it forces we 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 know they have terrible mana, um, and so the Caldra forces them to more aggressively deal with the Stoneforge Mystic, whereas like, otherwise they just they can ignore it for the most part until we commit to the hammer line. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, Bunny, I kind of agreed, but Elk's explanation there makes sense to me. Yeah, I will say I don't think Stoneforge Mystic is living. Like I. I... <laughs> I will confirm that. Um, this sneaky but... hammer is going to get him? Yeah, let's hope so. Hey, we're putting our opponent under a lot of pressure. Hammer! Thank you very much. Appreciate the follow. Yeah, making him kill hammer, or making him kill the Stoneforge is really good too, and we're just going to make two idiots off Saga and then get probably get the shadow spear off saga i suppose it probably it might be just second hammer and just like really go just to town really put them to the test just do you have uh, it <laughs> it's nice because next turn we can just shock in the call that way we can make a construct and hammer okay that's a ley line finding yep so now they hit the stone forge yep because if we had grabbed hammer right they definitely are hitting the cigar to aid there yep that's smart. Okay. Elk showing us why he's won events with Hammer. All right. <laughs> uh, so I, I play this and I bolt, obviously, right? And then we... Actually, do I just I make just... a thing immediately and hammer it up? I think you do. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Because it basically just kills Lightning Bolt. Exactly. Yeah. Also means that, like, the ley line binding, I guess, like, they could just ley line binding the construct, but whatever, who cares? Not me. Yep, not me either. Yeah, I mean, this forces them to, again, not binding the aid, which seems pretty good, because we just get to do this to them again, okay? Sure. Like, you, you got it, buddy. All right, so make a thing. Oh. And we drew the Shadow Spear. Easy peasy. We'll just get another hammer. Mm -hmm. Get another hammer here, or do we get, like, a Cookie Monster? Oh, Cookie Man makes sense, actually. I don't hate Cookie Monster. Yeah, and then we can just Man, attack for one. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm into Cookie. Cookie guy here. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, let's attack for one. Are we hammering or no? Probably not. Right? I think we're just just attacking for one. Just gets bolted. Exactly. Yeah, I guess. Uh, do they play force? Green force in their deck? I can't imagine they do. But I'll take a look real quick. No, yeah, they're mostly they're mostly like red, black, splash, white. Yeah. Looks like. Yeah, Hawthorne. Yeah, that makes sense. And thank you, Amber. Appreciate the good luck. Yeah, we're trying to bonk. Dreams. We got dreams. Uh, 
so much of playing this deck is just trying to like layer your threats to where they can't address everything at the same time, which yeah. can be super hard. I, I mess sense. it up constantly. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it, it feels to me like one of the more thought provoking decks that is actually good in this format. There are plenty of decks that are pretty thought provoking, but they're just not great. Um, I guess I think Elementals is a fairly thought provoking deck too, but I think that deck's a little too dirtily for some. It, it feels terrible into four color creativity too. Teferi clowns yep. that deck <laughs> so badly. It's really bad against creativity. That's why it like went away for a while. Yeah, yeah that's kind of been what I've what I've been experiencing in in most of my leagues with Elementals this week. We've like three two to all the leagues, and pretty much all of my losses are to four color creativity. I've just been getting annihilated. Yeah, when your when your worst matchup is the best deck in the format and people know it, that's that's a tough yeah. spot to be. Yeah, that ain't it. Risen Reef is kind of a joke into Ren and Six too. I try to build with Tireless Trackers instead of Risen Reef, which I actually thought were pretty good. But all right, you've got a Kabu. Resolves. <laughs> okay. Um. So. See if we put the so yeah we can we can go to the end step for sure. Okay. Trying to think, can we kill them? The hammer on the construct turns into a fifteen. It'd be a seventeen. We can't quite kill them. Like yeah, that. Amber Solitude's felt pretty good. It was a good move from Elk for sure. Just taking these mono white humans eh. lists and kind of taking a page out of their book. All right, so oh they didn't. What what are yeah. we doing here? Uh, so they played a land. So now I'm I'm less less excited about <laughs> anything yeah i mean uh, they're only is their only answer third binding um they have probably a push Wait, oh, so was it hammer could we have hammered in response to we could no? yeah no in, in response to what into kavu they played kavu before they played land Oh sure. So we could have um, we could have hammered the ginger brute in response. That actually makes a lot of sense. That would have been good. We just, right. we just pass. we just or pass, or I think we just go, go to our, our turn. turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't hate it. All right. What are we doing? I think I... we just attack with the construct. I guess we can animate the or the. We can sugar rush the ginger brute and attack with sugar. that as well. Let's go. <laughs> you got it. Like, well, yeah, and we attack with both here. Okay. We don't even have to commit the hammer. Oh, because you, you just... can just shadow spear the construct token. Exactly. Yeah, that's sick. Okay. Ori opponent, I'm sure we have nothing. Yeah, Pizza, we're we're giving them the option to block because we'd much rather kill their Kabu than not. Can't catch me mode? Yep. Sugar Rush has been declared. <laughs> okay, flash this in. Yeah. Yeah, Amber, Sugar Rush, Can't Catch Me, Ginger Smacks, whatever you want to call it. They're all good. Yes. Yes, I will. we will use that ability. Sick. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. And this is where it's like, oh, what if they have third laid line mining? Then we probably lose, and that's okay. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't care. Maybe. I mean, uh, third ley lines binding. Like, we have hammer. Throw it on the. Like, they need something else. I guess path of perils a disaster. Didn't you say that was in their deck? Usually, like, two copies, but yeah, I mean, that's okay. Yeah, Path is, like, the actual nightmare here. Or, like, if they were playing Hidatsugu Consumes All, we'd just be dead. Also would be very, very good. Okay, that I is won. not it. That that does not do it. All right, I could just flash it in now to just save time, right? Uh, so like, yeah, dead, we yeah. We put it on the construct. Yeah, probably. Seems yeah. right. Yeah, the old the old seventeen lifelink trample. That's yeah, a pretty classic. good card. If we pretend he that Sugu doesn't exist, <laughs> it can't hurt us. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that I mean, that is the advice I have, have given. To do that with hammer, right? Like that. That is gotta be like the worst, 
the, the most blowout card yes. in the format. It's just so devastating. It's insane. And that's what some people were saying. Oh, like, aren't we, aren't we worried about HCA? Why are we cutting skills? Like, because skill doesn't matter when they're casting Hidetsugu consumes all because they killed seven permanents. That's cool, Amber. That's awesome. Um, okay, so do we change anything on the draw, or are we just running it back as is? Um, congrats to Amber. That's really cool. That is um, very cool. Let me take a look. I don't up, think Will? we want the needle. Um, I think the sanctifier is probably pretty it honestly but it's probably fine yeah it like hugs kavu it can't get bolted so it forces them to have binding it's yeah good. it's fine yeah ever yolo yeah the only the only thing that i think is maybe a consideration is like i fourth solitude on the draw could be good but i don't really know what we would cut that's kind of where i'm at yeah yeah okay yeah, it's fine cool here we go you like cutting the ornithopters. I'm happy we did that. Thought I'd left for energy. There's no energy this weekend. There is a, um, what do we think of this? It's a hand three, right? Yeah, it has an equipper. Yeah, so any seven with, like, good mix of land and spells and an equipper and a, a hammer, like, it's, it's pretty easy keep, usually. <laughs> Jaylid, see ya. Thank you for the follow there, by the way. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to take that upkeep stop off for now. I don't think we really need that. I usually know. Up. I can't imagine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so that's probably the turn one land, right? Yeah, almost definitely. The question is, are we going aid here? Yep, that is the question. I feel like we are. If yeah, they want to use a binding not, on the aid. If we're not playing, a, I guess we want to hold that for solitude still either yeah. way. But. I, th I think we're just going aid here because like, honestly, it would be pretty sick if we get to go turn one aid, turn two stone forge, like they binding the aid and then we go grab Cauldra. Yep. And then we get to go second to stone forge if they address the first stone forge yep. and we get to go stone forge, hold up surge. <laughs> Seeker gas money hand. Yep. Yeah, this hand's great. It's so funny okay. to me that like, when Stoneforge first came back, like it was kind of like everybody's like, "Oh, it's gonna be this sick mid-range card." It just ended up being this like awesome aggro deck enabler in Modern. It's so funny, basically a combo sick. deck. All right, so I think is it Ink Moth, Stoneforge, Hammer? Yeah, or Cauldra. It's Cauldra, right? Uh, I well, I think in this case it is Ink Moth, Stoneforge, uh, Hammer because well, it, it honestly it doesn't really matter. So. <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin. Okay. Um, I guess it depends. Yeah, get the cauldron. Yeah, I kind of again like forcing them to deal with the stone forge, and then because we have another one, it's like really good yeah. because then they have to deal with the second one too, and then they can't address the aid. Exactly. Yeah, this is a way to protect the aid, right? Also, I say you said grab cauldron this time. I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw how good it was last game to just make them deal with stone forge. And I'm kind of into it again. It's a little worse if they have Bolt, but, I mean, if they're doing the... Bo okay, they didn't even do anything there. That's got to be good for us. Yeah. The domain deck has pretty terrible mana, so I'm not super surprised. Yeah, so Bolt here, There's that's bolt. fine. Yep. Cool. It's a really nice turn. And now we get to actually oh, play protection, right? So yeah. this is Plains, Mystic, go get Hammer, right? Absolutely. We'll see uh, uh, See how Surge whoa. works here. I'm over here. I'm like, I hope they have Force of Vigor now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Me too, dude. Me too. All right. Hammer. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Amber, so, yeah, it is. The consideration grabbing Hammer versus Cauldre last turn, it was because now we can Stoneforge plus Hammer, um, whereas we, we forced them to kill the Stoneforge the previous turn, right? I think it's pretty marginal, so I think both lines are super, super defensive. Okay. Um, Urza Saga, please. Okay. Resolves. Do I just cat? Do I just cast the surge or? No, oh, you can let it resolve. See what they're pri what they're prioritizing. Sure. All right. Surge, gonna right? say absolutely not yeah yeah <laughs> this is when you flip the card onto the table and tell them absolutely not yeah no one mana white counter spell go 
be fair, Mana Tide would have been the exact same thing there, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Uh, sure. <laughs> you got uh, it. Um, yeah, so if we draw another protection spell, they die to the Ink Moth. Yep. I was just about to say. <laughs> Okay. So this is just like a play Sunbaked Canyon one you with Ink Moth, or is that not good? No, I think it's just Sunbaked probably Top. pass. Okay. Maybe we could pop, pop it. the canyon. Yeah. We're gonna pop it at end step. We're definitely just popping it main phase, right? Yeah, because we could hit like Esper Sentinel or something would be really good. Yeah. I think because every creature on our deck is a live draw right now. I yeah, think especially third third stone forge would be kind of the nuts. Yeah. yeah, so we just pop it now, that's fine. We wait on okay. this, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're waiting on that hundred percent. That's uh that's a nice a nice one. Three Amber. Mm -hmm. Man, Elk, if, after playing through a league with this, who knows? Maybe I'll play this at NRG. It's a lot of fun, it man. Is it fun is a deck. lot of fun. <laughs> reminds me a lot of Infect from back in the day. It's It plays pretty similar, but it's just better, I think. It's like Infect, except you have a good backup plan. Yeah, yeah you just have Urza's Saga in your deck. Yeah, Ursa Sug is a really stupid magic card. Yes, it is. Okay, so we just go Plains, Pure Steel, Pass, right? Think so. We have two redraws off this yeah, if we need it. So insane. Bolts does Do nothing. Good. So gas. And of course, we tap the Ink Moth first because if we get a surge, then we like get to super blow them out. Yep. Go see Amber's like, yes, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I have, I think, most of a second copy of the deck, too. So, Ooh, okay, that's even <laughs> Elk's really tempting me now. Oh, well, we I got you. I got defend. you. This league has gone really fast, and I don't need to be off until five. So, if you have time for a second league, we can do a second league too. I'm happy to. Sweet. All right. So that yeah, we'll just finish this one, and then we'll do as much as we can of a second one before five o'clock. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I enjoy um, this. Do we? Oh, oh okay. Sorry. sorry, I clicked it's through too quick. It's fine. It's fine. Were you thinking um, like Shadow Spear? Shadow Spear, yeah. Um, I think we just like play planes attack for two okay is there any uh, argument to shadow spear still there is it's an extra damage yeah. and a card right yeah, i think we do that um and then if they use a removal spell we can then animate ink moth attack and hammer them to death yeah don't hate it yeah okay sick okay yeah awesome What's kind of funny is we're getting really close to hard cast Cauldra complete too. This is like a real thing that uh, happened in this game. Or a Maria's call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is real. arguably better. Yeah, it, it just is better. Ooh, okay, that's Sick. gross. Well, we just attack for three, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they have any flash threats, so. Get them. Sick, Amber. All right, three you. Play a giver. Go. Uh, man. Oh, yeah, this deck's just so much fun. You can you can go through leagues quick. Too. It, it, that is what's really nice. Yeah, the, the speed at which you get through is pretty cool. I do love snack time, so huge, <laughs> huge selling point for me. Superfly said, I think you can go for double aid lethal that turn. Um, they wouldn't have quite died to the Paladin, right? So even if we hook up the Paladin, it doesn't kill them. So I'm doing my math wrong. Sure. Yeah, yeah okay. that's fine. 
And yeah, we're definitely just waiting on this hammer because next turn we have give her up. Yep. Oh. <laughs> well, now we just get another hammer, right? Yeah, uh, but I think we start. So we can. I think we start with yeah. I mean, okay. So we this is one of those turns you tank on, right? So we yeah. can go. Kind of like drawing the card off hammer first, but. I'd rather have another hammer so we beat Bolt better, right? I and mean, we, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, we we sure, lead with the Sunforge player. Yeah. Bolt. We don't even have to use Giver in response to a Bolt. You're 100%. We have, Giver, we have Giver for Leyline that way. 100%, you are correct. Cool. Um, we do want to, one thing to note, we want to do this at sorcery speed because if they Leyline binding the Paladin in response to the trigger, then if we give Pro White, then it stops the equip. We so want to do, do that it, we right do now. it right now. Off of the planes, I think. Off of the planes, okay. Opponent is in trouble. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> this is not a good spot. They are in danger. Danger. Second hammer is so good. Yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> not okay. Good. Really not okay. Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna tap the ink moth so that way we could draw a surge too. Yep, for sure. Just like that this represents the ability just to still potentially kill them with ink moth, because yep. if we do have like mantle in hand, we can flash in mantle, put it on the giver. Uh, that's really funny. They didn't actually let the hammer trigger go on the stack. <laughs> oh, so yeah. we can actually just put it on the giver. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is... Uh... And then we can just... Even if they... Yeah, okay. They're just going to die is what's going to happen. If they're just letting... I, this... I would presume so, yeah. We yes, they can. Here. Yeah. yeah. They can potentially lay line binding the shadow spear, but okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like, this is fine. Casual draw two cards. Oh, yeah. Now they don't even have that out. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just like... Yeah, I mean, draw a card, see what we get. Could click at random. I think we're okay. I agree, yep. That's... I want to note, though, like, we could just start casting Solitude... Like, so stupid. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that really does anything here, but... Um, okay, so I think we solitude this out of the way, so that way they don't have the Ley Lines Binding Shadow Spear line available anymore, either. Sure, yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. Just pitch the second... second. Eh, probably the... Probably the Mana Tide, if we're being... If we're being honest with ourselves, right? Yeah, that's fine. No. I don't think it matters either way. Correct. I just feel like Mana Tithe is maybe more useful. It could randomly matter. Sure. I yeah. just don't think, so, do like, think second yeah. aid matters. I just, I don't it, know. What it could. Matter. I just, but like I said, I think it's like sub 2%. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to keep enough. the Tithe just in case. Sure. Calibrated Blast and Instant. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. 3-1. Looking good. He's... Our only loss is the living end, which is kind of... And to be fair, the, the burn guy did just run away up a game, but we'll take it. We yeah, will take I'm, it. I'm usually, I'm usually happy to face burn. So yeah, I know. I'm you not... were saying that. I mean, the four surges are so disgusting versus burn. Yeah. Uh, the solitudes, the surge, like, it just... Surge obviously doesn't be deflecting palm, but, like, solitude being a removal spell that also just, like, hard counters palm and gains you, like, 12 life minimum is so insane. Stupid. Yeah, the fact that it bogs them, too, is, like, mm. pretty real. That was a good turn. That was. That was a good turn, yes. It's a nice turn. We were able to play around everything pretty easily there. Oh, that was. I'm just looking back and like, so many things. We drew so many cards. I love it. Yeah, that was that's so fun. That was beautiful. Oh, uh, Forge Anu is also a really nice tool against Hitsugu consumes all. 
Yeah. So that's another reason I like that card. Very true. We would like to play first. So no Burn. way to equip. We can get Cauldra, but I don't know. What do you think? If, if we had a Springleaf drum, I would probably keep it, but this is pretty mopey. Okay. Mulligan it is. Oh, that's a land. Um, yeah, it is a land. We can go. I don't hate this hand, actually. Bottom second Paladin, probably, and just go Mary's Call, Ornithopter, Paradise Mantle, Equip. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You said bottom second Paladin? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Boulders. I do have to double check myself. Sometimes we're like, wait, does this hand have lands? No, okay. I know, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so play this. Play Mantle. Equip Mantle. And there is an argument, of course, to, to play like the Giver there, but I think... Setting up turn two Stoneforge too good, you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think exactly. Good, probably. Um, it's like, if we don't draw a land and we don't do this, our game's a lot worse. Okay, so they could just scam us here. Oh, nice. They are playing oh. scam, but they didn't scam us, thank God. Less. Hmm. We go get hammer, uh, right? Yeah, I think it's Stone Forge. Go grab hammer, and then you can trade with the Ragavan if you get the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hammer, and it looks like Amber has been testing Forge new. They're going good, Darth Stone. We're three and one now. It's actually two and one because our burn player just like left for whatever reason, but. We'll take it. We take those. We're happy about it. Okay, they're attacking. We will absolutely block. I was block. like, no attack? <laughs> yeah, that would be disgusting. Like, no shot. No shot. There's no attack. Um, yeah, Amber, like, I've been really impressed by the Forge Anew. Like, it, love is great. I this completely hand agree. stinks of Fury. Yeah, I mean, if they had Fury there, we probably were dead. But instead, they had... Wait, why would you not... Douthy first. I don't, okay, sure. I guess they don't really care, but uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> they don't really it's kind of silly. The sequencing there at all. Oh, that's oh. kind of insane, right? I just go Paladin, Amaria's Call. Oh no, that doesn't. Never mind. We need the aid here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're probably just going Amaria's Call. Aid hammer. Aid attack, hammer. Do we just blast yeah. him for for ten here? Blast him for ten seems pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they like yeah. have to have Terminate or like Cake Command or something. If they don't, mm -hmm. they're just like Fury doesn't get us anymore now either. Exactly. Grief doesn't really matter that much. So the consideration to playing Paladin here is if they have like Blood Moon. But yeah. It means their deck stops functioning too. Oh, and that just means they're not addressing this. Yeah, just just hit them for 10. Yeah, Blood Moon, they die. Jam. Yeah. Yeah, just jam. Like okay. YOLO. <laughs> yeah, they can't block, so I'm just going to do it all now. Anytime I can avoid the Moto interface, I do. Yep. <laughs> yep. That makes sense. I love that the aid trigger is optional, too, so you can, get, like, really screw with people. Is there any argument to play Giver there? I don't know. What do you think, uh, Elk? Was there an argument to Giver that turn? Uh, yeah, there, honestly, there was an argument for, like, three or four different lines. I think they were all pretty reasonable, but mm -hmm. considering our opponent's configuration... Just like getting the the Thopter in is so good because even if they Blood Moon here, they're dead. Yeah, they lose. Um, so they have to have a removal spell for a giant creature, then, and that means they're not Blood Mooning, which means then we can go like Paladin potentially equip as well. Okay, Command. That'd be disgusting. Yeah. I mean, if they have it, they have it, right? right. Pitch game. Right? <laughs> yes, hundred percent. Uh, not shattering the hammers really bad yeah that's terrible what okay uh, another ornithopter off the top please yeah well, that was that was really bad um so hmm. i think what we just think go give her yeah i think we just uh, give her equip mantle Yep. 
don't even know Scam played Cake in the end in the main. It's interesting. I think that's kind of unusual. Yeah. Oh no, we're Amber, getting that's... griefed. Oh, we're Ugh. getting griefed. Oh, we're getting thought seized. That's really bad too. Okay. They, they go to five though. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Amber, that's entirely possible. Um there's the blood moon. Okay. okay. Still have a white oh, source. No. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Well, how about like oh. Ginger Brute? We take a Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute would be cool. Oh. They um. did have it all that turn, but now they have nothing, so maybe there's a shot. That's a mountain. Mountain, perfect. Mountain. Perfect. Yeah, mountain. There it is. I think I'm just going to play the mountain. No reason not to, I don't think. Uh, Amber, that's entirely possible. We're supposed to board it out versus Cascade. I think I like it versus Rhinos because they always have like four Force of Vigor, so the rebuy is a lot better. Um, but obviously, I haven't tested it extensively against everything, so could absolutely just be wrong. It's kind of annoying they had K Command because, all right, well. All right. Yeah, we can, we can move on with our life, yeah. It's K Command honestly in the scope of the format seems atrocious to me it does not seem very good at all it's so slow not good into any ren and six deck in my opinion it's like only only good into hammer in my opinion <laughs> i agree with that yeah, i don't think it's good anywhere else um okay um, how do you board versus scam so every card that says red or black on it you board in okay. um so sur surge and sanctifiers um Sure. And then I like Solitudes quite a bit. Yeah, that makes sense. And then anytime they have EE, you bring in the, the needle. Okay. Do we think they, do we do we do it blind or do we just leave it oh, in there? Yeah. They almost always have it, yeah. Okay. Um so we cut the four ornithopters because they are bad. Yep. Um and then I like cutting one of the rocks. So usually I like cutting uh um the drum. Okay. And I think that's about it, yeah. Cool. Basically, the idea is make your deck have more cards that do things and fewer cards that are air. Dave, that's so funny. I mean, you're not wrong. A one of K Command, like, people love <laughs> playing their K Command regardless if it makes sense or not. Um, True. All right, we'll be on the play. Yes. This hand looks snapping this. You're snapping it. Snap keep. Snap keep. Okay. You because you're against scam. So if we go Esper Sentinel on one and they grief us, we get to Solitude the grief and it gets no cards. Okay. <laughs> and then of course, like unless they have Moon, Saga's also just gonna beat them by itself. That's true too. And we're on the play, so Saga's guaranteed to at least get one. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm into it. The draw it's a little dicier, but on the play, this is great. I do adjust my Mulligan keep uh, decisions quite a bit post board. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we're going to let them do the undying thing, obviously. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Do we even solitude it this turn, or do we wait and see what our top card is? I kind of want to wait and see what our top card is, because we could draw a different, uh, a different white yeah. card and then keep the other solitude. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's totally fine, since they're not getting any additional value off of this. Yeah, there's just yeah. no reason to... You know, this just doesn't matter. Absolutely correct. I guess in theory, there's even a world where you would take eight from it. Uh, I think very few worlds, though. Okay. Okay. Right, so you, yeah. You think we tag just, it? We just tag it and get it out of here. Uh, well, we could. I don't have any like. I kind of think eight, blink. eight might be okay to take, but. I think we can let them see if they want to do other things this turn. Yeah, but... let's see what they do. Let, yeah. Let's just yeah, pass. But... There's just no reason to do anything yet. They can't really deal with the solitude. So yeah. Concern is a lot of times these games do come down to like weird racing situations, and so taking a free eight is pretty rough. Okay. Um, I think I'm just I think I'm just exiling it now. I think you're doing it. Because yeah, I don't know what else they could do this turn that would make me not want to solitude it. Sure. I'm just I I was wondering if like we think the other solitude will matter later like you know if we drew like Esper um, Sentinel or something that'd be a much better thing to to pitch but you you're sure. pretty into just just dealing uh, with gain, it. Gain eight is pretty important I okay. think cool. Cool, because cool. we have the the constructs up 
starting next turn, I think it's pretty pretty important. All right, I'm in. You. Bang. Clearly, we should be playing uh, Ephemerate. Yep. <laughs> ephemerate. Just like one, just a cheeky one of Ephemerate. So stupid. Thought sees me. Thought sees me. Oh, oh man. Unlucky. And the good news is, like, unless they have a, a small. Oh. That's a good card. Okay. Yeah, just. We're just making a construct still, right? Yeah, so we're going Ink Moth, make a construct. The reason you hold up the canopy is because that way we have double white next turn if we get a drum. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Kind of expecting just like land Blood Moon here, but I think that's okay. Not my favorite thing, but. Make a thing. And this was the consideration for playing Paladin, of course, but. Yep. Whatever. Okay. But it actually doesn't do a whole lot on this board anyway, so. Yeah. Okay. So we just play Canopy, play Needle on EE, and attack for two? Yep. Okay. Engineered Explosives. So we attack for two. We just play planes. We don't play this yet, right? Oh, yeah. I think we wait. Yeah. Ideally, we just, like, find a hammer, and then we play hammer, paladin, equip. Yep. Um, Makes sense. Actually, we would probably play paladin, hammer, because if they have a removal spell, we lose metalcraft anyway, so it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Makes sense to me. Another mountain. Hmm. Look at all those griefs in your hand, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> planes. <laughs> planes attack for two. All right, I'd, I would like to draw more solitudes now, please. Yeah. That's why we boarded in on all of them, though. That's so. true. I mean, yeah, they're super broken. Basic lands OP. Wow. Oh, sure. they're going to yeah. probably undying it, I bet. Probably. I cannot imagine they're making this play if they don't have an undying effect. But this is still okay. Like, if we draw one of those um, yeah. solitudes. Or if we draw on any of our four surges, I would be pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. Did they pitch to the Fury? Another Fury. Another Fury? Okay. Cool. Actually, no. Terminate. Terminate is what they pitched. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Because we solituded that Fury earlier. Okay. Yeah. So just play this pass. I think so. Okay. Well, okay so yeah, because we're not racing that with the paladin, so no. <laughs> this is fine. Yeah. Not even close. A solitude off the top would be pretty backbreaking. Yeah. Okay. Stoneforge solitude. Okay, we just play this, um, play hammer, yeah. right? Put them to the I, test. Do you have fatal push? Mm. Oh, they don't. They definitely do not. Yeah. Quick, click through, click through. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So now we throw this on the Sentinel attack and then throw it on the pure steel, right? Absolutely. Beautiful. Woo. All right, well, you got you to gotta mention, hey, Jack, why aren't you giving me any of my surges? And then it gives you the searches. That's true. That's true. Take that, scam player. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. We could still heat at Sugu. Yes. Like I, I will block. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I want to move the hammer here, right? Because it's more damage. They have to chump block. So yeah, I think we I think we put it on the sentinel and then just attack with both, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yeah. just free two damage. 
They could have a Ragavan, but I don't care. Like, <laughs> yeah, this seems correct. We also like 100% are drawing a card off the Sentinel. So. Yeah, now we just don't even move, right? Because we have this. Because it'll die. Yeah. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, that would be. Terrible. <laughs> yep. I always forget. All good. That. I mean, sometimes it's correct anyway, but that's true. Fair. Not in this case, though. Yeah, take exactly. this Mr. Scam guy. Who's getting scammed now? Not us. The scam was registering scam. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank my boy, Surge of Salvation. Yeah, that's, that's true. This card is so ridiculous, man. So good. It's like, so... Imagine, like, the only thing making this not Veil vale of Summer is that it doesn't cantrip. Can you imagine if I know, this right? just drew a card, too? This did all this should. drew a card. It should. It should. It should <laughs> say draw a card on it. All um, right. Do we run anything different? Could We could cut the mantle for the drum on the draw. Sure. That's about it. That's the only difference. But I think keeping the mantle to be able to grab with a stone forge under a blood moon is correct. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so cut the cut the outfitter. I would cut the outfitter. Get the drum back in here. Okay, great. That yeah, card double, sucks. Double white card that's just not great. Yeah, okay. So we've <laughs> learned that outfitter just almost gets cut all the time. Is what I've learned Correct. in this league. Correct. It never stays in your deck. So, oh, my opponent has interaction. Get out of here, outfitter. They always underpower the white cards. It's not a hundred. Okay, what do we think of this hand? It's good I draw. don't think I could ask for much better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this hand is awesome. If we were, I, I guess, on the play, that that's what I would want. And if they if yeah, they Greek, Greek scam us, frustrating. Okay, it's a monkey. Sure. Okay. Slam the up, keep stops. Keep, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, exactly, Seeker. It's Seeker. like this is a. That's <laughs> like nine more hours of being playable. <laughs> oh, no, Jay Lynn, in the this deck. is why I play Mem Knight. Yeah, to block Ragavan. That <laughs> Mem Knight here and then surge it to protect it would be so dirty. <laughs> uh, oh, that's really nice, actually. So we just go planes, pass, and then I think we might solitude pitch the paladin. Okay. The, them getting ahead on man is like pretty pretty problematic for us. Yeah. The solitude card is pretty good, huh? Turns out, yeah, right, this so is wild. You're, you're still into the solitude line. Yeah, pitch a second paladin. Tagging for it does feel pretty good, yeah. Yeah, like it, it's obviously like the joke is like, oh, Ragavan's bet bad against Hammer. It's like, yeah, but sometimes Not they on the beat play, you. It ain't. Yeah, it's yeah just they, fine. they just fine. Now here's the question: Do we play the Saga and make them oh. Blood Moon us? So like, I I was gonna say that, like now I kind of want to get the Sentinel into play, the second planes. Oh, with Surge don't hate that yeah i think we could just go plain sentinel because okay. then if they yeah. okay sure yeah because if they blood moon they get really punished because we draw cards exactly I'm into it. a removal spell then we okay maybe okay they don't have a removal spell got it <laughs> i feel like they don't have blood moon either yeah, probably not. What? what the hell? They must have like a theory. I have no idea. Theory, it, it I, makes sense. I guess. So we just stone forge, go get hammer, right? We we, we get our free point. Them? Get our free point All first. Right. Uh, actually, what do we think of getting Cauldra here? Cauldra seems oh. like a disaster for them. They they're dead. Like, yeah, you're 100 percent getting Cauldra here. Okay, great. They're dead. <laughs> They're dead. They, they can't beat that card. I love it. No, they can't. Scam cannot beat that card. It doesn't so, lead to any of the problem cards. So the All joke right. is sometimes they can by going Dothy plus Thoughtseize, but we get to Surge that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Surge. What a card. Yeah. Aldra, let's get there. Uh, hmm. 
Maybe they have like EEs in hand that will do nothing the entire game. Huge fan of that. Yeah. All right. So we let uh, them do their targets, right? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, none of their stuff blinks. It just lets it come back when they die. Yeah. So this is. This is fine. So I could probably just do it now, right? Is there any reason at all to wait? Yeah, I mean, we're we're going to do it 100%. Yeah. yeah all right. not, it's another <laughs> moto interface angle. Let's just not click through. Or, okay, nice. Sick Fury, dude. Sick. They will get that sweet 4-4, four, four, though. <laughs> yeah, they will. And then we're going to put a Cauldra into play. Uh. Opponent pizza, yeah. <laughs> oh, they didn't even get to undie it. <laughs> That is ugly. Oh, that is they can't ugly. thought seize us now either. Absolutely ugly, dude. Oh, EE for two, pop it. Oh my god. We get to draw oh. a card too, and then we oh yes! Ah! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I love this game. All right. All right. Well, uh, the only question me... is, how do we sequence all this? Oh man. Yeah, I wanted to draw a land. Uh, a land is broken here. Don't we just go paladin, hammer, draw, and then if we draw a land, it's just like game over. Oh man, it's think the stone forge down is like pretty insane because yeah. next turn we get to like follow up with oh another yeah, then they hammer. have to they have to deal with the stone forge again or they just die. Yeah, yeah, we probably go like stone forge plus cookie back for really, two. Really bad into another fury. Do we like that? They pitched a heat at Sugu, by the way. How That's what I'm saying. Um, I think all of our plays are bad into heat at Sugu. So no, no, no. I'm I was okay saying uh, if we do the Mystic Ginger Brute, that's terrible into Fury. Sure. Um, so yeah, we could just go. Fury. We could also just go like pass, make a construct. Yep, we could do that too. Uh, let's do that. You like that? Because if they have if they have another like HTA, then we're just covered against that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to attack. That's the easy one. Attack oh, is yeah. free. First blood, let's go. So, all right, pass it is. What up, K2? Yeah, this is gas, man. It's a great idea. Great <laughs> idea have... to play some, some hammer today. Oh, it's so much fun. Monkey dash. Sure. Okay, are we just trading? I think we just take the hit. You want to take the hit, huh? I don't care. Worth noting, it does give them the fifth land for another Fury. It's fine. You don't care. Okay. Yeah. Like, at the point where they're at, they have four plus lands, I care a lot less about them getting the mana. Okay. Like, yeah, the concern is obviously they can Blood Moon here, but okay, we draw a card. Unless they pay. They'll probably just pay, right? Oh. Have to imagine they don't let us okay. draw a card. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Two cards. One card. Okay. Sure. All right. Make a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I All don't right. think we're making another construct here. Okay. So we're floating mana. Yeah, we're just floating mana. The question is, what are we getting? Is Spring Leaf um, Drum good? We did bring the so, second one back in. Yeah, so we could get... No, we didn't. We still have the Mantle in the deck. Um, being said, Mantle generates mana on this board state. So the Paladin. Um, could just go get Drum, honestly, or a Mantle. I think those are fine. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. let's see what we're going to go get. We do have drum. We do have the drum. Okay, we, okay. We brought we it back in. We cut it okay, last cool. game and then we cut oh, the core we, outfitter. Oh, no, we cut the core outfitter. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, core okay. So drums. So, we think they have another removal spell in their hand. They might. They have Ragavan. So they have one card. We're playing around exactly so, one card here. Because if they don't have a removal spell and we grab Mantle, we have so much mana. Oh, because we can move it around with power. It's for free, yeah. So the other thing. Like, I feel like they don't have another removal spell. So I think getting either Needle for EE or... Because they usually have, like, two or three EEs. Um, 
or okay. <laughs> they just conceded. They're sick of the tank. They're sick of the tank. All right, that one was funny. They were dead no matter what. They probably don't have terminate, yeah. is what that clearly meant. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna be right back, chat. I'm gonna refill my water, and then we're okay. gonna do another league here. That that was great. That only took two hours. This is great. Awesome. I'm gonna play more hammer from now on. This is nice. Oh, yeah. One of our five did just concede, so it probably should have been about two and a half hours, but still, good rate. All right, I'll be right back. Elk, you can keep chat occupied here. I'm getting water and going potty. All right, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Elk, are you back? No, that would be a no. All right, chat. Well, yeah, I mean, that was very, very sick. Ammer, that surge card. I haven't, I haven't played since they, like, I haven't played against this deck with surge, but my God, this card is stupid. Absolutely insane how good this card is. That was pretty crazy. We did a lot of filthy things. Just blowing out Fury is so cracked. The fact that they don't get any creatures off it is insanity. When Elk gets back, I almost want to ask if, like, I'm curious if the core outfitter should just be the fourth surge in the main. Then realize that it's just crazy. Yeah, I mean, how bro how broken is this card? Like, I guess... Skill the skill give it indestructible, so technically skill saves something through a verdict, right? Is that like the one upside of skill? Okay. And E E. So if you ex and Heat at Sugu too. So if you expected like your if your metagame was really weird, I guess like Blacksmith Sill could make sense. So you, you have a couple reasons. Heat at Sugu. Bob MTG. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. Four surge, one skill in your 75. That's okay. It's interesting. I mean, we we boarded out Outfitter in almost every single matchup, other than, I guess, we didn't board it out in the mirror, but I wonder if this card would be four surge in the game. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow. Appreciate it. Mod of Oh, Brotherhood's End? Yeah, yeah, Brotherhood's End makes sense. Outfitter steals games. Yeah, that is fair. I'm just, I'm curious what Elk thinks of it when he comes back, but it does definitely, and I guess all of this is moot because we're going to start playing Forge anew anyway instead of this, but as an option, yeah, that makes sense. It could be the fourth Ink Moth, right? Or another Canopy Land, I suppose, is real. It's the most obvious Forge New Cut. Yeah, very much. Elk has already said that that's going for a Forge New, and then one of the Surges is going to go to the sideboard for two Surge News, was what, or Forge News was what he was saying he would do a while ago. This is like my first time playing Hammer. I've played it a little bit at FNM, but it's cool having Elk in here kind of walking us through what to do. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, All right, yeah. what's up? We were talking about, I'm curious what you think of this. Is there any world where you just don't play the core outfitter and just main deck the fourth surge? Now, obviously, when Forge New comes, all this is moot, but. Yeah, I mean, core outfitter is a terrible card, so. That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, for now, I guess I don't really want to go rent another random one card to change it, so we'll keep it in now, but. 
yeah, all, all of this doesn't even matter because Forge New is just going to be the thing that they do instead. So it's all pretty moot, but we'll we'll keep yeah. the outfitter and just. All right, here we go. Now look, he's he's done his best for the time he's been in this deck. Like, let him have his last few hours of life. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we got a question in there about why do you don't you stream a little bit elk or no? I'm just YouTube. Um, YouTube. Okay. Uh, it's because I I don't want to. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my computer could do it, quite frankly. Yeah. We I definitely have that issue sometimes too, and I have like a real like most of it has to do with like Comcast just being kind of garbage, Xfinity. But <clears throat> all right, let's mold this. Obviously, no lands. Oh, Snapkeep. Snap. <laughs> oh, it's free. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and we lost the die roll again we're noting do we i mean we probably have to ship this right this seems terrible anytime i'm like on the fence i always like all right what are we doing um yeah i mean on the on the play i'm probably keeping this because sentinel's Cause a lot better saga. But... yeah sentinel yeah. saga is like probably good enough but yeah the sand's pretty bad though yeah we can throw it back Jay Lid, do you think this is a great six? I don't think it's great, man. Like, we bought him the Cauldra, but, like... Look, look, Mr. Keep Seven Forest Hand. I'm in love with it. He says he's in love with it. All right, we're going to mull. <laughs> Jay Lid is leading us astray. Now, this is a good hand, Jay Lid. Look at this. This is a this is a hand that is not garbage right here. Do we just put back yeah. Surge Ornithopter? Um... It's definitely Ornithopter. That's the easy part. And then probably Surge. Yeah, because I don't know when we're going to be able to hold that thing up. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right. All right white Source one time. <laughs> Please. Yeah, white Source would be good. All right. Looks like probably Murktide. Could be Rhinos. Could be a Ren deck. All right. It's Murktide. Well, it's better than Monkey for us. Yeah. Yeah, that'll take. Do we have a uh, Merktide command in this chat? Merktide command, we don't. <laughs> although that would be a good one. It'd be perfect. That would be good. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the second white source. Is there any, do we just play that tapped on turn one? I think we just go planes hammer go. If they tap out, we just go outfitter equip. Oh, that's filthy. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> If they don't tap out, then we probably just go, like, Saga Stoneforge. Yeah. Uh, Mark Chalice. Yep, there it is. Yep. Play Hammer. Yeah, that K2. Elk. Elk has it covered, man. Got you. Elk's leading the way. Leading the charge today. Again, this is a mold of five, so, like, <laughs> like I'm not hating it. Okay. Ow. Okay, so I think it's just Saga Pass. Saga Pass? We don't even... Are they, like, like clearly have Counterspell? They just shocked it in. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> All right, sure thing. Yeah. Anytime they just, like, don't get to use their mana, it's so bad, because now they don't even get, like, a Surveil trigger. Yeah. 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 Hopefully they don't have Double Consider. That'd be pretty garbage, but not much we can do about it. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Take two opponent take two. <laughs> take, take two to do nothing oh ei okay. okay it's like i don't know when else they're gonna ei so, so this mark is just just bypass it man i i know it's weird but it it doesn't actually matter you just click it you go you, there's like an advanced tab click advanced and then it gives you a a link it says unsafe. I, I, I've never had any issues with it. I don't, I don't really know why it does that, but you can see all the decks in there. See, it shows my last five decks I've played. Um, but yeah, I know it's weird. That security message used to throw me off too. I, I don't know why it does it. And sometimes it doesn't even do it, but you can just go right by it. It's not a big deal. And that's fine. You and Travis can both be wrong. Described the six as a snap keep. That's fair. Snap keep, he says. Snap keep is aggressive. That is aggressive, but I guess I, you know, I'm not the, 
I'm not the hammer the hammer guy, so I do think it was close. We said it was close, right? Like we didn't. Uh, yeah. Like snap keep, absolutely not. I'm the draw. Like on the play, I'd snap keep it, but not on the draw. It's nice. Okay, so do we just go like ink moth pass? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Like continue to just not let them use all of their mana. Seems pretty nice. Yeah, that's true. Have what three cards in their yard? Four cards. Uh, three, three different types. Land sorcery artifact currently. And right, sounds good. This just sets us up so well for next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. We obviously do nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the classic okay. bait, dude. The Ow. classic bait. Uh, Look at that. Wow. Could they, like, have pretended any worse? Like, that Fourth Land, Psy, Coco. Yeah, that was, that was terrible. That's not even a good bluff. That's almost insulting oh. that they thought we'd fall for that. Uh, look, I get I'm dumb. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are we doing here? Um, I think we're getting... We're making a construct and getting a drum here. Then probably just casting the Sigarda's aid and the Amaria's call tapped would be my pick. Okay. Got okay. it. Play this. All right, go ahead. There is a consideration to sh to bolt it in to. Okay, but it was heat, not bolt. So yeah, because we could animate the ink moth to protect that from a mm, bolt, but sure, sure. I don't think it's worth the three life. That makes sense. Okay. In their yard. Uh. Heat, 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 bolt. <laughs> Three heats. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we know we know they have counter spell in hand from just how the game's gone. Okay, so they must have a land here too then, because they're gonna hold up counter spell again, I assume. Uh, mm. What? That's insane. Okay. Now we just get to mystic them, right? Yeah. So. Oh, okay. So now we get to. Yeah. Now we just get to. Mystic. Well, okay, so let's map out the whole turn, right? So we play Mystic off of Ink Moth Land. Yep, get Hammer. Then we play Pure Steel, move to equip the... Oh, but no, we can't. Oh, no. No, we play the uh, the Outfitter and move the Hammer to the Core Outfitter itself. Yeah, or, yep, 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 yep. And then we have the Hammer to flash in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, well, let's see. That's a flash in, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, we don't get to flash it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they countered it. Yep, yep, yep. Can we go for lethal with Ink Moth? I mean, we can, but I think it's really bad, too, because there's no way they don't have a removal spell. Yeah, I mean, they only have probably, probably three more removal spells in their mm -hmm. deck. Typically, they don't play four Bolt in these decks anymore, but... Yeah. Uh, I think we actually get Spear here. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. That beats yeah. Murktide very bad. Mm -hmm. And then you can play Spear first. Okay. I think we're playing the Spear first. Because it plays around Spell Pierce. I see. Okay. Oh, all right. Feel smart. <laughs> now, is now we're it paying. Even, is it even worth? We do pay. Yeah, because so now next turn we can go outfitter plus paladin. Okay. I mean, we know and they have been, like, the way they've played. We can almost be certain one of these three is counter spell. We still think that. I th I think it's worth it. You think it's okay? Yeah. 
Okay. Is also the Shadow Spear gives us Metalcraft without having to animate Ink Moth. That's true. Okay. We can also just straight lead with the Outfitter next turn. Yeah. Cool. Tide. Okay, oh, they no. did have another bolt. Why in the world are they killing that? I, I couldn't tell you. That is putrid. <laughs> what I'm saying, man. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Well. <laughs> um. Kind of, kind of like just stone forge grab a hammer. Yeah, that's Cauldra. actually fair. They might think we have Calder in hand, I guess. That's reasonable. That is... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think we definitely play this because we want a double spell for sure, right? I agree. I agree. And we know... Like, they have counterspell. It's like a thousand percent counterspell here. Most, almost definitely. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's actually why I didn't want to grab it. <laughs> grab the Calder. Insane. Wow, that's good for us. And now we just go Outfitter, Equip Hammer. Yeah. Makes sense. Target Equipment, this one. Target Creature, this one. Go. Are you kidding me? Do you have eighth, eighth Removal Spell? Eighth Removal Spell, all right. But that's why we played it this way, right? Yep, yep. Is that their eighth? It's their seventh. Okay. We've only gone through seven. Oh, uh, excuse me, <laughs> six. It's their sixth. Okay. Still cool. pretty absurd, but... It's, it's kind of insane. <laughs> In the top half. Sure. Are tied. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's also pretty bad for us, but. I mean, maybe. I don't find a removal spell. It's not bad for us. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Darcy. Okay. Darcy, yeah. Well, now sure. that they have. Le oh, I guess they don't have lethal because we have Ink Moth. They still need the removal spell, but I'm kind of just expecting eighth kill. Oh, my God. Well, now so we, we animate Ink mana. Moth first. So we animate Ink Moth first. Animate Ink Moth? Okay. So we animate Ink Moth, play Paladin. Why don't we just go Paladin, Paladin? Or, oh, no, we that's don't, stupid. That's stupid. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to trigger the Shredder, yeah. Um, yeah, if we animate Ink Moth, equip... I, mean, I guess... If we animate Ink Moth, play Paladin, that means even if they have a Bolt can just equip to the paladin because we'll immediately equip the hammer to the the ink moth yeah and the fact they must have a burn spell because they didn't play darcy so they just have the seventh burn spell here almost certainly because they exiled darcy and then did not play darcy off that ei so they are greatly signaling yeah. which is kind of why i want to double pure steel because then they just can't, so we they can't stop it right but but so we uh if you animate ink moth first then play paladin then you immediately equip hammer to the ink moth. They have to respond there, and then you just move everything. Oh, to the I see. I see. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so fire this up. And this also doesn't trigger shredder, which huge fan. Bet it spell snare. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. If it's spell snare, it's spell snare. <laughs> know why y'all putting that evil out but <laughs> resolves thing and right, hammer on the ink moth mm. and right, shadow spear on the ink moth <laughs> <laughs> oh i think they might have been bluffing yeah <laughs> oh All right. combat 12 attack attack you for lethal damage yeah. enjoy chump blocking we'll gain 12 take eight poison mm -hmm. oh. i don't think we even move it i think we just 
keep our ink moth around. Uh, we probably move the hammer to the paladin. Like, let's be real. Yeah. Yeah, because they clearly have nothing, I think. Yeah. Unless they were like, really heads up and just assumed yeah. that we would... I don't know, this is actually kind of close, because so our, ink our moth ink will die, with Shadow Spear is don't... just lethal. Right, but like don't care they can't beat this game one when well, we're they, at 20 they can if they if they waited and just thought that because the what did the bolt do there like so they had to keep in mind if we if we move the hammer to the paladin and they bolt it in response the paladin dies and the hammer stays equipped interesting okay so like like i'm fine losing the ink moth here because if you just put this on the paladin we win the game anyway okay and just put everything yeah yeah all right cool go 100% move? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. Like, nice. I don't care about Ink Moth dying. Sure, what did they do? Draw two? Yeah, you got it. Yep. Worst... Okay, so they're on the Archmage Charm build. Yeah. Worst case scenario is what? Brazy B, I guess? Yeah. That's and then we... not good. Yeah. We take We take three. And then do it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't put me to Two seventeen again. <laughs> charm. What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well. Easy peasy. All right. How do we board versus right. Merc died? Solitude, get in there. For sure. Solitude. Surge, get in there. Surge. Almost identically to how we boarded against um. Scam. Uh, scam. Yeah, and the needle and the sanctifier. Cut all the ornithopters. All the ornithopters and a, a uh, drum. Yep. Uh, the outfitter. Get out of here. Outfitter, outfitter <laughs> out of here. Okay. <laughs> he was actually really good that game. Outfitter was great that game. They had to deal with it. Yeah, he had his moment. Yeah, our Brought Mages Charm needle, is right? good in exactly blue-white control. And I guess in Merc... I mean, in Murktide, in some matchups, it is your best card, but... I don't know but, if it would be this one. You did bring in the needle, right? I did bring in the needle, yeah. Okay, okay. Thought so. Jalen screaming needle. He is, I like, yeah. I, th I, I think, think he's just that. excited about pipping needle. Do we keep this? I don't hate it. I think it's fine, actually. Turn one aid, turn two saga to start making idiots, have hammer. Yeah. Every creature off the top's good. It's not like insane, but I would keep this five and I'd probably keep this six, so yeah. All right, I'm in. Snap keep. Send this one to Travis, too. See what he thinks of this one. I think this is fine. Nuts hand. j says nuts. It's broken. Oh, I, five if, lands. If we were... <laughs> five lands. j, j sees four basic planes, and he's just drooling at the mouth. Just drooling at four basic planes. Great arc planes, by the way, too. Sunflower good planes is, is the truth. It's no uh, white border seventh, but it's good. Yeah. I guess we're kind of in bad shape to spell pierce. That would really suck. That is something this hand is pretty uh, weak to, but what do I mean, you then we just beat them with constructs. That's true. Ooh, solitude. Fun. Like that. Fun. That'll yeah. be good later. All right. You got the spell pierce? Nope. All right. Well, first question of the game has been answered. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right. Saga, go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not casting a hammer, so. Nope. GG. Have... Jaylit says GG. For real, though, like. I don't know, guys. They have plenty of out. They can just, like, dress down our constructs. like. Then you you flash in a hammer in I response. Because we're true. not making a second one. Oh, we don't make a second one? I see. Oh, okay. For exactly dress down, yeah. Okay. Um. Archmage Sherm is obviously a consideration, but whatever. Ooh, fun. Yeah. More of those. I guess Blood Moon would have been pretty bad for us. Blood Moon would not have been uh, what I would call good for us. <laughs> All right, pass it over. Poor um, Merc also, player, yeah. This is definitely a game we're going to get to hard cast this Solitude, too. Oh, yeah. I see a cookie holding two hammers in our future, yeah. 
potentially. I think we're getting I mean, well, don't we're we getting just a get needle. another hammer and then like force them to interact and then we go hammer hammer and just like thirty them or whatever. But I think we I think we get a needle. Needle, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's R instead. Yeah, yeah, it's like no. Turn. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I know it, it gets confusing when we're chatting and everything else. All right, so we obviously make a guy. <laughs> make a dude. Played Ottawara. All right, so yeah, here I think we just float mana. Yeah. Mana. Go get a needle. Game engineered explosives. Play another saga. Like, they are doing nothing, so we don't have to present any more pressure. Okay, cool. Engineered explosives. Bang. Not the Arpalist engineers. <laughs> or aerial engineer. Exactly. All right, so we use the floating mana to play drum, right? I think so. Just saga and attack for three. Like, bang. <laughs> like, what are they going to do? If they Blood Moon, they also only have single blue. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty embarrassing. Shouldn't we sideboard out Cauldra if they showed us charm? That's an answer for Elk. Yeah. What so do I don't because one, they like they're always going to have Archmage charm targets anyway. Um, also, you can usually set up a situation to where you can move the charm again. Um, I like Solves. putting a hammer in here. Wait, they, I like putting well, they a hammer in. It's not even killing it. Oh, oh, come on, opponent. <laughs> um. <laughs> come on, opponent. <laughs> <laughs> like why why do anything okay now oh my, we hammer the thing yeah, yeah now hammer, we'll hammer it oh hammer my time, lord dude. this is disgusting yeah. dude what are, yeah okay and so put another hammer Hammer. Yeah, sure. yeah they're just lost they're just they're dead, dead. <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> let's go dude hammer op <laughs> so like this this is an example of like oh what in the hell that is so uh, funny man so bad. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. 20. 20 25 you. <laughs> so, just 20 cuz they got the dress down. It's just a 2020. 20, oh, you're right. You're right. Just, just a 20. casual 2020. <sighs> that what was a bad. fun game. All right. I love Hammer Chat. This is great. Yes. This is great. Yes. But yeah, so like that's an example of like, okay, my opponent has to be the control, so I'm just not going to do anything until they start pressuring. Yeah. Urza Saga OP. Finally, and, um, that... welcome to the dark side. Yeah, it's sweet. I don't. I don't think hammer is the dark side in modern at all. Oh no, creativity is the dark side. Creativity of and rhinos and living end. Anything. Yeah, with living end. Six in it. I can agree with all that. Hammer is like one of the most reasonable decks in the whole format. There's other than Urza Saga, there is not a single card that I think is unreasonable in this deck. Uh, hammer is weirdly kind of a good guy. <laughs> like it weirdly. Is. It slaps even harder in Legacy. Okay. Uh, we got Hammer, no equippers, though. Hand's bad, right? Hey, appreciate it, Clock DK. Thank you. We'll check in again. Yeah, I'm going to be done a little earlier today, but Larry is actually going to be on tonight doing the modern prelim with Dredge. So... If you're interested in watching, uh, or not prelim, uh, the challenge, the modern challenge with Dredge. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Elk, what do you think of this hand? I think I'm going to draw this as a mulligan. Okay. Um, I also want to call out game one, we beat six removal spells, multiple counter spells on a mold of five. That is true. <laughs> All right, this <laughs> hand is pretty gas, right? This hand's a snap. Um, I'm probably bottoming the Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute? Yeah, unfortunately. Jlid says I would have kept again. All right, fair, Jlid. Well, we've got the hammer expert, disgruntled <laughs> elk, making sure that we don't keep these silly hands that you would keep. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. All right, um, we just play this tapped, right? This is probably rhinos. I feel like I think tree. it's. It could be multiple things, but tree of triumph could be rhinos. Rhinos hey, or any doesn't, Renin right? Six deck. Any Renin Six yeah. deck. Yeah, you could play the Amarius call. It's probably fine, yeah. I think it makes sense. 
think it's fine either way. So it's like, yeah, whatever. Dealer's choice. Question about a deck and your list of decks. How does the Kethis deck win? Well, let me tell you. On Moto, <laughs> it's a nightmare. You have to mill yourself. You have to mill like your entire deck. And then you, well, almost your entire deck. Enough that it becomes deterministic. Then you put, you have grinding, with grinding station. Then eventually you find Psy. You replay Psy from the graveyard by exiling two whatever legends that don't matter. And then you just replay Hope of Giripur and Mox Amber over and over again. And then grinding station your opponent's deck. Because you get six cards per, you get six mil, mils per. So it's not even actually infinite. Like, if they have Emrakul or something, you would have to, like, spellbomb them out of the board. It's very convoluted. It, basically, the short answer is you mill your opponent out with uh, Grinding Station. But no, it's not infinite. It is, but you do mill their deck. All right, so what are we doing here, Elk? Just Stone I think Forge? we're just, yep, that's uh, where I'm at. Do we do it off Ink Moth? Or... I think so. Okay. Um, also, I am fully ready to lose to Blood Moon. <laughs> yeah, Rhino. If this is Rhinos, they don't typically main deck it. Um, what are we get? We're getting hammer, right? Getting a hammer, yeah. Honestly, Mark, though the deck was like in paper, that deck would be really fun. Okay, so this is probably not Rhinos. Could still, in theory, be Rhinos if they're playing like the Leylines Binding version, but. I think it's pretty unlikely that that deck's kind of fallen out of favor. I'm less ready to lose the Blood Moon. Yeah, yeah, I do <laughs> not think we'll be losing the Blood Moon. Also, be like a Bring to Light deck, I guess. Yeah, probably not. But but anyway, Mark, if you're really good at Manning Moto, it, it's it's a fun deck. I I also like when we first started the league, I thought Kethis was like Underworld Breach, where it just gave all legends permanently flashback in your graveyard, because I'm so used to that effect just being completely broken. Uh, that is not how that works. You need to like mill your own deck and have to like keep redoing it. It still works, but it's just some more steps. That's terrible. Oh, they're on this deck, the Scape Shift deck. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's Bring a Light, Scape Shift. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Um... I think we're just hammer outfitter. Okay. Or hold up, hold up. Make kill us next turn with a brain to light. Escape shift. Uh yes. We can surge to counter it. That's so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um so it's I'm so trying to awkward, think awkward though, because our white mana is so constrained. Yeah. So we can just go canopy pass. Then we can flash in the hammer off the stone forge and hold up surge. That is certainly a play we can make. Yes, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. Because next turn, yeah, I think it's probably correct to just do that. Well, I don't know. This so, is hard, man. Yeah, this is tough. Because what if they just like have a slower hand? Then we're just like burning our our mana so hard. Uh, you know, you know what? Just hammer them. Yeah, let's <laughs> just, just, put just, them, just put them to the test. And do we, we yeah. put it on the Stone Forge? Are we just going? Yeah. Or, yeah. I put it on the Stone Forge, crack in for 11. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. I agree. Because they're like an iteration deck, too. I guess this mana is like kind of awkward. Well, no, Dryad makes all your mana perfect. So their mana is great. Yeah, like their big mana jerks. is actually perfect. Yeah, I know that. Um, What's his name? Dingo. Dingo's been playing, or got a 5-0 recently with this deck, so. Just bring the, like, shapeshift pile. Elk is big brain. He is big brain. <laughs> with hammer if we had more white, it would be, like, so free, but we get so punished if... Maybe we will draw a uh, Solitude. That'd be nutty. Solitude is busted. All right. Let's go, Squire. Let's go, Squire, because it's a one-two. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, are we dead? Oh, block? Oh. Well, that's got to be good for us. Uh, they could binding, but they didn't. That is, awesome. That's Ooh. disgusting. They went in doubt, just attack them for a bunch of damage. I can't believe they oh, blocked. No. Why wouldn't you just take it and have a potential win? I, their hand must be terrible. Bad. 
it's got to be real bad, right? Or they could have, like, maybe they're verdicting this turn. The verdict would make sense. Yeah, verdict would make a lot of sense, actually. I could buy that. That would um, yeah, be we... a line that would make that block make sense. Because that's about the only one. Yeah, you block is very play odd. Paladin. I agree. Super strange. Yeah, we get to play Paladin plus equip this Casting turn, too, even if they wrath. Sage you as a land is pretty interesting, too. Okay, Elk with the right. sick read there. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ginger so... Boy means we can just re equip. We can re-equip anyway, right? Yeah. Just animating two ink moths? Oh, so they're just, like, potentially... <sighs> are, uh, so if we... Yeah, so, I mean, we're we're going to Ginger Boy, right? Yeah, we got and a Ginger crack Boy, in for 11. Attack. We can't equip and attack. Yeah, yeah, so we play... Ink Moth. Ink Moth, Ginger Brute. Ginger Boy. Yeah. Uh, do we fire this up right now? Do, um, right? I think so. It, I don't think it matters, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think they have anything here with how they're. Yeah. All right, the ginger sugar rush, the sugar rush. Here it comes. Eight, you. <laughs> All right, great. Or eleven, you rather. My bad. Yeah, like... I don't know where. <laughs> this I'm is a big boy from, stream. But... We don't deal eight. Yeah, we deal we eleven. Deal more, yeah. How much does it do? Put out all your fingers that much. All right. Well, now they have to beat the Brute, the Pure Steel, the Ink Moths. We have Surge to cover us from getting scape shifted for the rest of the game now, probably. Yep. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. But remember, Blacksmith Skill protects one of your permanents from an EE, so you shouldn't play all the Surges. That's, that's so funny. <laughs> Would you ever play, like, four Surge post-board in any number of Blacksmith skill? We had some people talking about that in yeah. the chat. I, I've I've uh, definitely had, like, one to two skills in addition to the four Surges, for sure. Okay. Like, me, Bla unless something really weird is going on, Blacksmith skill does not exist until you've already filled up on Surges. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to me. It's just so broken versus Fury and Force. It's so not okay how good that is. Your opponent just gets two for one. Yeah. It, it's it's just really, really good. It's actually unbelievable, which is why Veil is always so broken, is it's a two for one. Like, yeah. It's so crazy. It's, yeah, it's incredibly dumb. Four, five. Are bring we wrathing again? Let's bring the light. Yeah, we'll see if they play multiple verdicts. They might. A Tibbersing us? Valky? Okay. Tibbers it is. Exile Hammer? Probably. Probably. Get rid of hammer, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, hammer off the top. That'd be busted. I mean, they're in a lot of trouble anyway. All right. Um. Uh, do we pop? Is there any world where we pop a canopy? Yeah, I think we're in that world right now. Yeah, we can crack a canopy off one of the Ink Moss. I think it's fine. Yeah. So we can just like Sains, Esper, Sentinel. Sentinel to the Tibble on them. Where I'm at. Okay. It was a very expensive kill hammer. Yeah, that was not great for them. This is not an exchange that I think they're too pleased with. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing they blocked the, uh... <laughs> I guess so, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Alright, what else you got? Yuck. It's annoying. Okay. Yep. yep. Classic yep. game yep. 7, I assume, unless they want to get mana. Okay, they want to get mana. That's not great. Yeah, it's very bad for us. <laughs> All right, uh, hammer off the top, please. Stoneforge would be pretty good, too. And yeah, those are all the same that, card. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. All right. I hope they escape shift us. Uh, okay, so we saw Surge now. Well, I guess we let them pay first. That makes sense.
This is the bad guy, by the way. Like, this oh, is the yeah. dark side. I hate Omnath. This is another, <laughs> I, another of the many cards that I hate. For me, it's definitely Teferi. Like, that is the most miserable so, card. It's just all, all of it is just so obnoxious. These four-color piles are just, like, an embodiment of all the just most stupid, design mistakes. yeah just yeah it really is it's just a million de design mistakes mixed into a deck oh, they're good least favorite printing ever is to fairy yeah that's that's got to be up there it's one of my least favorite too i'm starting to really hate ren and six playing playing modern all week like with like non rhinos decks like rhinos mm -hmm. kind of just doesn't care about ren and six but when you play like real decks that are trying to like have actual game plans and like when you're playing mid-range piles especially ren is so not okay okay they're casting hammer nice what all right all right um hmm we can put the teferi down to uh three or down to two right Hawthor, that would have made sense, yeah. Uh, yeah, we we could get the tap down to two. Yeah, I think that's dead. what we're doing. How do you mean they're dead? They're at eight. What? Hammer is owned by... We can't... Oh. That's... No, that's not... It's not it controlled works. by us, though. Yeah. No. I wish. Um, yeah, I think we just... Just Saga, animate both Sagas, and Sugar Rush, attack to ferry down to... Two. So you're willing no. to just give up the pure steel because we have another one? No, we're not talking about the pure steel. You're sugar rushing the ginger brute, and you have two flyers. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. You're good. Okay. So fire up, fire up, mm -hmm. sugar rush. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Take this to fairy. <laughs> I love that you call it sugar rush. It's so funny. <laughs> See, I don't know what else is, to call it. It is indeed a great name for it. Kind of hilarious. Okay, there's Dryad. We're dead to scape shift. Oh, God. All yep. right. Well, that's uh, really bad. All good. All good. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, we can good. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm just doing the math. Solitude, if we can kill, if we found solitude to deal with the dryad, they don't have all the mountains anymore. So I guess that's kind of good. We'll see. I don't have any cards in hand, so, like, that's cool, at least. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty bad, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, Give it a draw step. Awful. Okay. Them doing that right now is kind of loose. Oh. Uh. That seems really loose. Yeah. That seemed really that unnecessary. Does. Really unnecessary. What is happening? Oh, they're going to equip Hammer. <laughs> No way. Okay, that's that's, that's awesome. All right, it's not loose. It was game winning. Good play, opponent. Good play. All right, that or was loose, nice. Actually, that was sick. That was really nice. That was a good play. <laughs> that was really cool. All right. All right, I'm a fan. All right. What do we do here? Surge? Uh, surge for sure. I think Mana Tithe is also quite good. Yeah, Mana Tithe is nasty. Uh, some number of Dranets because it counters Bring Delight effectively. Okay. Right now, I'll just put four in, and if we don't play four. Uh, not the oh, sink yeah, fire, though, right? I, mean, yeah. grab that. I think we want all the solitudes. I think we do, too. Yep. So, the question is, what are we cutting? Think. Ornithopter again? Probably Ornithopter. Pretty bad, yeah. Uh, the surprise, surprise core outfitter can get out of here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. We do. I don't think we want all the Dranus, so probably like a couple of those can go. Okay. And then a drum, probably. A drum, sure. Yeah. 
Uh, and we need one more card cut. One more card. A giver of rune. Uh, it's either giver or mana tithe. I think mana tithe is going to be very good on the play. I think so too. Very, very uh, yeah, we can cut a giver. It's fine. The, what about the ginger brute? Is that ever a consideration or is that too good of a target to have on Saga? It's, some spot? it's so good. Okay. Give like, I, I have so much trouble cutting that card. All right. Yeah. I'm in. like to play first i would oh yeah i'm into this i think even though we don't have any cover, double sentinel is going to be kind of problematic yeah and we'll sentinel on the play is really good like yeah. <laughs> that's all there is to it yeah like even renin six isn't good into this hand at all just gives us so many cards cards please So question here, are we playing Stoneforge grabbing hammer or are we playing second sentinel? I assume to be mana efficient, we do the Stoneforge thing. Cause then if we draw aid, we just like go crazy. Eight. Second sentinel is like really, really good. I think we're just going second sentinel. Or how about, what do you think of Stoneforge Cauldra? If we had any protection, I would like Stoneforge Cauldra, which is the other reason I'm like, I think we just go ink moth sentinel here. Okay. And then... If we draw like Surge, we can freely go Stoneforge, Aldra. Okay. Are we winning? Yeah, we're doing pretty good today, DBZ. We 4 won our first league. We're down a game here. Uh, we're 1 0 in this league, though. We beat Merktide in the first round very badly. Our opponent was kind of a clown, though, to be honest. Uh, that that play in game yeah. two was just absolutely <laughs> disgusting. They went unholy we'll say, heat on a 3-3, unholy heated again. We responded with hammer. We have eight in play. We respond with hammer, and then they go dress down, and then we just threw another hammer on it, and they just died. It was just like, we, they were only taking three. They said no, no reason. Thank you very much. Appreciate the follow. So one thing to consider against that blue-red opponent was if we had made the second construct off of Saga, we lose the game probably. Mm. Yeah, because they just beat us with dress down then. Would have been See, that happens a lot. Yeah. They should have done was cast dress down in response to us making the first construct, but. Yeah, they, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. I agree right. with all of that. Opponent, I would like some cards. Be pretty, please. It's like, I mean, in that game, they should have just done nothing. They could have taken three. It's not like, and yeah. saved the dress down for when we made the second token off the, the saga later. I agree. They were at 20, for God's sake. Like, they <laughs> definitely did not need to do that at all. Ooh. All right, so I'm expecting Ren and six minus here, but then we get to draw two cards. You I like drawing two they, cards. Yeah. I was gonna say I wonder if they plus, but there's like no way. What's interesting about minus though is we can just fire up Ink Moth, kill it. We will do that. And we will do that, sure. Prismatic ending, yes. Okay. Only one card. Damn. Oh, you're right, Hawthorne. Yeah, not playing Ink Moth. I guess that but the, the Ren was kind of a thing to think about. Okay, this happens. Uh, no, I like I like playing the uh the Ink Moth. Ink Moth, it's fine. Like, if we draw a Saga, we're definitely going to play... Okay, well. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. All right, now we'll bluff Surge, right? Pretty free. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Do love a Cauldra. Yep. That's the other reason I'll keep Cauldra in, even when it doesn't seem great. Because... because it lets these hands be way better, right? Like, we didn't need... We don't need to go get hammers. We don't have an equipper kind of a more like mid-rangey that's exactly where i'm at it's like okay yeah i have a threat and just doesn't do anything otherwise okay draw another card so they don't have a third land yet no okay so are they gonna ping the sentinel nope 
Wow. Okay. Might have a removal spell, I guess, but still. Yeah. Kill the stone forge. Probably. So yeah. it could be like a binding. Yeah. Or bolt. Okay, binding it is. Or a, another ending, I guess, if they want to kill the sentinel. Sentinel. Yep. Okay. That's okay. not good at all. Now we get to kill this wren or start attacking them. I don't know. I kind of want to get. Depends the on what we draw. Them. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, like Ren, like if they just have a binding or an ending, the complete doesn't even matter. Yeah, I think we are supposed to. Yeah, just. I kind of like Canyon Stone Forge. Go get Shadow Spear. Cheat this one in. Kill the Ren. What do you think of that? Seems fine to me. Okay. <laughs> cool. I just killed Ren. Yeah, we're getting Time. Ren out of here. It, it did feel like they might have been land light with that plus, so. Yeah, knowing they didn't have another land, yeah, it's just Although, kill it. we don't know. I mean, it was bad to minus it on this board because we could just fire up Ink Moth and kill. So, minus was pretty garbage. But either way, I mean, oh, Teferi Bounce uh, Germ is, like, pretty real, too. Yeah. yeah. But now we get to tag the Teferi. Yeah, yeah, for... I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. It's all good. But definitely like killing that Ren, I'll tell you what. Yeah. That thing off the board was pretty critical, I think. Nice mana opponent. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do we want to do here? We're obviously killing Teferi. Um I think I think we're just bolting in the Amaria's call. And leaving up attacking... solitude hardcast. Yeah. Yep, I like that. They probably I mean, they're they're gonna probably sniff it out if they're heads up, but either way, who cares? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, Omnath, like, tagging Omnath with trigger on the stack or Dryad is just so good. Something else we could have considered was play Paradise Mantle, put it on one of the Stone Forges, and only attack with one Stone Forge. Sure. And then next turn, we can potentially cast a Maria's Call. Sure. It's kind of funny because, like, the beatdown plan is very real right now. Them at 10, like, th this is just a two turn clock. Altitude's great. Like, Path to Exile, terrible here. I guess they do gain a bunch of life on the solitude, but whatever. We can then also re-equip Cauldra. That is true. We could re-equip Cauldra, but that's a massive amount of mana to spend. It's kind of scary. Okay. okay. You got it. All right. That's oh, no. Doing. Well, we respond um, with solitude, right? Got it, yeah. This, this way they only get one creature instead of both yeah yep <laughs> yeah i mean no matter what they're only getting one creature well it, yeah i guess they would just wait they just didn't have to do anything yeah now they, exactly. get, the, they get the solitude but well all right well Maybe maybe time to just throw Shadow Spear on a Stone Forge to start getting in for three a turn with them at eleven. Straight up, I think it's like play Shadow Spear, put it on a Stone Forge, play Paradise Mantle, put it on the other one, attack for two. Yeah. Yes, attack for. Two. Got it, friend. Ooh. Um. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. We, we can cast a Mary's Call next turn. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's what we talked about. It's just Paradise Mantle, equip, a drum, play and equip Shadow Spear. Makes sense to me. This is so ridiculous. What a <laughs> stupid game, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And we attack with both, right? Um, and then attack with both. Probably do. Not going to respect surge anyway. So yeah. Do need to equip the mantle now, though. Okay. Uh, put it on this one, probably. I I think so.
hope we win this game. I guess there was like a world where we don't do all this and we just pop off the canyon last turn too. Like try and find a, a aid for just lethal on hammer. It's reasonable. Yeah. Um, or pure steel. It's pretty unlikely that they have no answers in their hand. Yeah, I think I agree. It's a really weird game for them. Like even like yeah. Ver verdict here is so awkward. Like killing two it's really stone forges. It's so weird. They're trying to cast a They're bring delay and figure that out. Yeah. yeah, probably for uh, Valky, I guess. Valky, yeah, Valky. Zyle Caldra. Valky leave up binding. Seems kind of unbeatable. Seems pretty good, yeah. Yeah, not quite unbeatable, obviously, but it'll be bad for us. Oh, oh um, okay. I'm now. That's a problem too. Yep. Not my favorite thing. <laughs> this fetch bring the light again, then get Valky. Yeah, seems uh seems pretty reasonable. Yep, I think that's what's happening. It looks like it. Oh, escape shift. Yeah, we just. Oh, we're just dead. Okay. Nice. Uh, well, no. We. Uh, so how many mountains they still have in the deck, right? Six times three. Yeah, it does. It does. I'll let them figure it out. Yeah, they, yeah. It's not you know, not for us to figure out. They don't have dry it in play. Yeah. Plus four damage Omnath, that's true. Yep, plus four damage from Omnath trigger. That's true. So I need to deal 12. They figured it that out. That is enough mountains. <laughs> well, GG's. Yep. Bummer. Blah, blah. More than enough. Yeah, indeed more than enough. All right, I'm just going to concede. We've oh, yeah. got an hour this left. Game's super over. Yeah, it was a weird game. Never, never drew an equipper. A little unfortunate, but for drew an equipper, you draw another surge. That would have been breaking. Props to opponent. Yeah, props to excellent yeah. kills. That's true. They they did have some sweet kills there. Game one especially. Yeah, ga game one, one was funny as heck. It's awesome. Yeah, killing us <laughs> with our own hammer. Reminds me, Zach Allen one time at a at a local. 5k at galactic killed somebody with their own arboreal grazer um with because of kahira K arboreal grazer's a beast and he like <laughs> archmage charmed a grazer and then killed them with it all right well we won the die roll they're playing 61 cards does that tell us anything the goblins this hand is very good right <sighs> we go turn one sentinel i Mantle. think we keep it it is close, though. I, I don't agree. think we play Mantle, though. I think we wait until turn two. Okay. Did well, we yeah, rip into no a, yeah, a White Source? Right. Yeah. No play. yeah, it's a spew. Okay. If they I mean, thought sees the us, draw, then we draw. Could... What'd you say? The draw, yeah, we, we probably not keep it. Well, I might keep it more on the, on the draw. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I don't know. Sentinel on the play, man, is just oh, yeah. so nasty. Okay. The, the 61 cards thing is really weird. I, I wonder if they're just playing Elementals. That's the well, they, they would have revealed Kahira, right? Uh, no, you can't do that anymore because of Nyssa and Alesh. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Both those cards kind of made that impossible to do. The only companion I think you can justifiably play is Karuga, but then you don't get to play a fair amount of great cards. Right. Yeah. Let's see what they're doing here. I'll turn this on. It's goblins, because I think Spike was talking about playing a 61 goblin. Yeah, okay. maybe not. Okay. Maybe they just misregistered. Maybe they just played Merktide with the classic 61 <laughs> cards. White source. Not a white source. Um, yeah, I just want to play out the second sentinel here. I think I agree with that, and then just pass. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, mantle first to equip. Oh, sure. Yep. Mantle has looked pretty sweet in a lot of these yeah. games. Yeah. I like 
It's mostly the same as Springleaf Drum, uh, except for turn one. But then there are games where you're just like, oh, I'll draw a card and generate four mana. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. It's a fun little one of. Yes, Sly, that is true. It was for exacts. Are we blocking? We are, right? Yeah, yeah, we're trading 100%. No second land either. No second land either. And costs. All right. No second land either. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. That's yeah, not bad. If we weren't going to draw a land, drawing this is reasonable. Oh. So this is an instance where I would rather the mantle be a drum, but. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. Um. So. We just go. Give her Ornithopter equip, right? Not crazy. Give her Ornith. Yeah, that makes all the sense in the world to me. We equip the Ornithopter, obviously. Yeah. All right, Ornithopter confirmed broken. <laughs> A zero mana, unrel like unreasonable. Jay lit. GG. GG. All right, they found their land. Darcy. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think if they like tap out here, they're just dead. Oh, yep. Shadow. They're playing Shadow. Okay. Thought squeeze us. Shadow with no Gigantha? I don't get it. Push. All right. Honestly, I don't really care. Why would you not play Gigantha in your in your Shadow deck just for the fifteenth card sideboard? I mean, this is just easy. Uh, Paladin I hammer. Easy Paladin yeah. hammer equip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy peasy. And we equip the paladin, I assume. Yeah. Probably. Oh, nice. Um, actually, I think we probably put it on the ornithopter. Because of drown. Uh, no, it, it's protected from both. It's interesting because of drown in the lock and fatal push both uh, make this kind of a, a hard decision, actually. Yeah. I mean, we're playing the Saga either way. I think you can just leave it on the Paladin. It's yeah, fine. playing around their four of Unholy Heat. I guess they only have three more. They probably only play one to two pushes main deck. That's pretty standard. Um, but yeah, they play four Drown, so that's, you know, a little bit scary, I guess. But whatever. If they have Drown, they have Drown. Yeah. We're just going to go on the Construct plan next turn anyway. You think... You think... You think equip? Oh, season pyro is a reason, Jalid. That makes sense. Or Murktide region, I guess. Both those are reasons. Um, Jalid saying equip the ornithopter, and then paladin wear the mantle. What do you think of that? It, it, I don't think it matters. Um, I guess that's where I'm at. It's like I don't know what benefit we're getting from that. Right now, we're protected from a burn spell killing the paladin. Um, and if they have a removal spell, like a a, bo a push or something, then it we doesn't just have really matter. Paladin. Yeah, we just have another exactly. Paladin. I, yeah, I don't know what I'm really worried about. Yeah, I don't think it. Yeah. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Um, yeah. Making heat a bad card is probably good. Like, I I think they are incentivized to kill the Paladin more, so I'd, I'd rather have the mana anyway. Yeah. That okay. All that makes sense. Oh. Oh. EI? I don't think a two two is a threat. That ain't it. Unless they hit Fatal Push. If they hit Fatal Push, it's it. All right. Very quick bin second iteration. Makes sense. It's not doing a lot right now. If we don't have second Paladin, then I'm I'm fine moving the Paladin to the Thopter and moving yeah, that, the Yeah, that would make sense. Paladin. Yeah, if we didn't have second Paladin, I think, uh, J-Lid, your line's right. But I think the second Paladin changes what you want to do. You want to, like, make Heat just a dead card. I think. Okay. Well, them having to go to 12 is pretty awkward for them. Darcy. All right. Chump oh. block city. <laughs> Here we come. Well, now we just go get a shadow spear, right? Yep. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Yep. And now we can move the the hammer to the the thopter oh no 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 Just... we can't unless we were getting another hammer but i don't like that 
So we just leave that there. All right. Yeah. So um, actually, do we, do we play second paladin. Do we just get another? Hit? We could. I think if we just go Stoneforge, grab hammer, put hammer on Ornithopter, attack for lethal. Almost lethal, yeah. I kind of like that, because yeah, then we, we can just go get a Shadow Spear next turn. We just play turn. second paladin here, too, right, to get the draw, um, too. Oh, then we can't attack with both. Why not? We have five. Oh, because we have to tap. Sure, sure, sure. I think I'd rather oh. get Shadow Spear, draw two cards, still deal them 10 damage, but gain 13. I think that seems better to me. Because oh, otherwise, we don't gain 13. We're dealing the same amount of damage. And then we're just down a card for no reason. Sure. Putting them to... This also um, just puts more lethal threats into play, too, right? Like, Stoneforge is lethal wearing a spear. It's kind of insane. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it wouldn't quite be lethal, right? Because they'll... 13? Yeah, 10. Okay, yeah. Shadow Spear. Shadow. Should have done green mana Achoo. again was a bit of a punt, but that's okay. <laughs> we should have done black mana, clearly. All right. Equip. Yep. All right. Opponents had like... enough. They've seen enough. <laughs> like the reality is I don't think it mattered what we got there, so who cares? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just the, the gaining 13 could matter. So, uh, so this card, Death Shadow, it's pretty weak to life gain. It is. Solitude, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, Sanctifier is awesome, great. Yeah. yeah. And Surge is very good as well. Yep. And then what are we cutting? Oh, we want the EE for, or the needle for EE. Yeah. Even though they shouldn't be playing EE in their Death Shadow deck, they, they probably well, are. Oftentimes they still do. It's super good against Rhinos. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, so and we want to cut the... <laughs> <laughs> so you already know what to cut yeah it's the core outfitter and four ornithopters yeah yep still on that okay cool mm -hmm. just like maybe fun. merit for march especially given that we're on the draw versus shadow just because yeah. it's like every threat in their deck it's a little different than merc tide we could reasonably cut um one of the drums for a march i think that's completely fine because like they usually play like alpine moon as well i like doing that on the draw i think it's fine jaylid says you'd cut cauldra why why would you cut cauldra jaylid called the shadow can't beat cauldra man wrecked if if that gets into play can can if they have shadows and dress I guess down. Dress down like, dress, yeah. like now the card's so hard for them to beat. Yeah, I, we're just gonna keep doing what we've been doing. Yeah, Jaylen, I mean, you say but, that, but we keep we've had a lot of spots against these decks where we do grab Cauldra because it forces them to interact. This is, I guess, a little different than a Leylines Binding deck, but I don't think that's true, I mean, Damon. I mean, you guys have been with us for this whole stream, right? We've grabbed Cauldra many times into the face of removal. I mean, there are also spots where you just have, like, Surge plus Stoneforge that you do on three. Um, Sand seems kind of bad to me. Sand is bad, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Sand also uh, seems bad, but it's kind of awkward. pretty bad. Kind of awkward it's... going to five against the Thoughtseize deck. I think... This hand's a keep. We bought him an aid. Jalid says he's key he's keeping. Nobody's surprised by that. That's just been the yeah. Jalid special today. Keep. Snap. I'd keep. keep this hand. Alright, we're gonna keep. I really don't know. This hand is is yeah. pretty bad, but it's so hard. Like against Thoughtseize, it's so tough going to five. But maybe we're supposed to. I don't know. This like maybe we're supposed to like try and just get a bunch of sagas that would beat Thoughtseize. Yeah. Then they just, with our luck, they Alpine Moon us. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Which is also a very real card they could play. All right. Well, it's going to be a classic Solitude game. Thank God we had three aids. Yep. <laughs> Succulent says this hand is dog shit. I'd go to five and play for Saga. I'll say it's fine. We'll see what happens. Now it looks a lot better because the Solitude gets to convert. Yes, yeah, so we just go 
Ains Giver Solitude, I think. You like Giver here? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think we do just Solitude here in case they have Dress Down. On, on our main phase. Wait, wait, well, wait. On our, well, if they Dress Down, we just keep it. Right. But, and then we I just don't, get a block. Does that matter? That's not even good. Then we just trade Giver and have a 3-2 Life Linker in play, right? That seems can. like a terrible dress down to me. We would just block. Like we can do it in combat. They dressed they dress down and then we just have a three two. We we trade yeah. either with a three two lifelinker and gain three or I, I think that's okay for us. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. We we if made they... a good Damon, but I think Giver in theory is better than a three two lifelinker. In fact it almost certainly is. Yeah. Yeah, we can just block for the trade. I think I'm fine with that, yeah. Okay. So now are we solituding or do we just block? Just block, yeah. Block. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. This game could just go on forever and it solitude could. could just convert. Yep. I agree. <laughs> yeah, not two for wanting ourselves already on the mulligan against the Thoughtseize deck is probably good. Okay. Oh, they kept a one lander. Nice. Sick. I think we just play tap to Maria's call and pass. You don't even think we put an aid into play? Oh, you want surge for thoughts. Kind of want hold up surge. I yeah. like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. That makes I think it's sense close, to me. But yeah. I mean, they clearly kept their one lander for probably a reason other than just Ragavan. All right, so we're going to Solitude pitching one of the aids now. But we, we let him go to combat, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. We definitely do. Opponent. Absolutely not. Solitude. Also, put them further away from, uh, from Shadow. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Saga off the top. That'd be very good. Yeah. Or Stone Forge. I would love Stone Forge too. Yeah. Just a two for one. I'll take any land. As for Sentinel's actually spell. insanely broken when they're stuck on one land and we have a surge in hand too. Yep. All right. Well, right surge. Yeah. <laughs> good, Counter good the spell. Elk. Good play, Elk. Whew. Getting the, the Elk special today with the just beautiful <laughs> surging. I mean, I kind of want to play out all cards. my cards. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just right. play out our stupid guys. Well, they like certainly have a kill spell, but we've just got to play our cards because they could have thought seizes too. But they did not keep a one lander off of the back of just Ragavans and thought seize. I can't imagine. They probably also have a heat or push. Very likely. Yep. Sure. Aga, please. Or Stoneforge. Stoneforge is so broken. That's also take pretty it. broken. Sure. I'm very into this. <laughs> it's like, I'll take lands or spells. I'm not even picky. Yeah. Tagging the Ragavan dang was it, dude, with the third busted. monkey. We'll draw March. <laughs> That'd be really good, yeah. Or the, solid, the uh, Sanctifier would be funny. Sanctifier would be insane. Okay, good call on that. Well, I think we just probably march it now. March and attack for one, send a message. Yeah. It doesn't play around fourth monkey dash, but I think I think it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that, yeah. yeah. Well, thank God we brought these in, by the way. <laughs> we just brought in one, right? Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, one you. Attacking seems mid, fourth monkey dash. Dude, come on, Jaylib. We're not playing around the fourth copy no. in the top 12, it's, man. It's to be fine. fair, the, the one downside to attacking that I could see is they are playing shadow. And so oh. maybe pings for one are actually I, bad. So I like the pings because hammer can just like, oh, 10, you're dead. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I like fine. getting the chip shots in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With most decks i agree cool cool 
All right, that's not good. Ow. Unlucky. Ow. Truly unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. Very unlucky. Now they're just going to play another one mana kill spell, pay the mana. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. That's also just really, really bad for us. Be great when we draw the needle, though. Oh, yeah. The needle, or just another surge. Or no, surge doesn't do anything. All right, needle. Come on. Or saga. Okay. Ask right. and you shall receive, Chad. All Don't. right. Can we maybe stop doing the increments for now, or do you still want to do the punching? Just, just send it. Okay. Send it. All right. Because assuming they don't even hit a third land, then this eats up their whole turn. Like, I don't know. It's, it's just attack. It's fine. All right. Didn't register hammer so we could not go sideways. That's true. All right. Another saga. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. Not I mean, right now necessarily, but fine it's fine we just get to attack for one yep y'all have to I see if this three it. damage we dealt them ends up biting us i'm very curious if this will work out okay this happens i'm pretty nervous about it to be honest we'll see Uh, hopefully they don't have dress down. Do they do? Yep. Yep. Their one lander has definitely worked out. Yeah, our hand was not not great. So. Not great. Yeah. <laughs> they did shock. Oh, we'll see if they go shadow shadow here. That that's what I'm a scared merc of. I think it's a merc tide. It yeah. is a merc tide. Okay. okay, and that's why they're not playing Gigantha. Okay. <laughs> An imposing 5-5 five, five Murktide, sure. Yeah, and there's Death Shadow. Okay. Make idiot. We're okay. obviously going to do this again, right? We're going to make... Oh, yeah, Murktide. unless we draw Solitude. We draw Solitude, we Plague Wind them. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just make a Construct. Uh, kind of like Shadow Spear here. So it's either Shadow Spear, Needle, or Drum. Like, those are definitely the picks. Um, yeah. I kind of like Shadow Spear because then we just throw it on a Construct token and. That's reasonable. You know? Yeah. I guess Shadow, I though, fine. is just going to be a perfect blocker for that on the following turn. It's a little scary, but we always. Yeah. yeah. This is an interesting spot for sure. Might be. Might be Drum, weirdly. We have a Drum. We do have a drum. Why would it be drum just to cast solitudes if we draw them? That's exactly. What... And we have three more. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to lose a land here, though, so we still only have four lands. Yeah. Then we can we can probably just go. Uh, we'll just get the shadow spear. Is fine. I think shadow spear makes the most sense. It's also a good thing to throw on the Esper Sentinel potentially. Yeah. Tax their cards more. All right, pass. Take a paladin or a aid. Yeah. Either one. Yep. Stoneforge for Cauldra would be okay too. Take that. Another EE. -E. God, that's so. Oh, EI. Sure. Cool. Do they pay the one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think you kind of have to there. They're, they don't want to be oh, yeah. cards in this spot, I don't think. Hopefully they draw, like, two EIs. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Bauble. Okay. 
Oh, they Got might it, have friend. missed a land if they put Bauble in exile. Unless they did. Okay, so that, yeah, Bauble, Bauble. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. They can't attack, I don't think. Okay. Like, that would be a very ambitious attack. That would be pretty odd, yeah. Oh. That's really nice. That is insane, yeah. Um. Is it weird that I kind of want to just go attack, like play hammer attack with both constructs? That's kind of interesting. Remember that they can, oh yeah, they can't even double block because they won't take damage. So what they probably will do if we do that is they will block shadow here if they know how their cards work, of course. Right. They'll block shadow and then take five. And then this state base becomes an 8-8, eight, eight, but I don't think we care if it's an 8-8 eight, eight that yeah. much. And then it holds the stuff back. We're kind of in also a... put the spear on the sentinel. What's in their yard right now? How big would we make this Merc Tide? Just green, gain one. Yeah, one counter. Kind of like the tax from the sentinel here. The tax from the sentinel, the shadow spear sentinel, yeah. you think? Yeah, I think That's... we hold the hammer too, because I don't really want to play the hammer without an equipper. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. Okay, I'm into this. <laughs> J Lid, come on, man. What's up, Sedna? <laughs> A bonk. Come on, dude. So obnoxious. Easy matchup has been called. This I don't know about not, that one. <laughs> not even close. I believe Shadow is favored. I think so, too. This is literally, like, why I played Shadow instead of Murktide, is I thought the hammer matchup with Murktide was kind of bad, and I thought Shadow it was pretty good. I would I would concur with that. Shadow gets to play real removal. Like, Blue-Red doesn't actually have good removal into hammer at all. Like, all your removal gets blown out by hammer, whereas Shadow, all of your removal beats hammer equipped. Like, you don't care. Or at least half your removal, you know? All the Drown... Like, and also Drown's just, like, a really good card. How did we get the one line where we don't attack? I don't know. Elk, can you explain why you thought the, the Shadow Spear equip was the better line here? Um, well, I don't think attacking is a good line regardless, right? Because yeah, growing, of exactly growing their Shadow is, like, kind of awkward. Um, I like taxing their turn because I didn't really want to... Playing the, the Sanctifier is completely reasonable here, but I didn't really want to grow the Murktide this turn either. Um, and I didn't want to play the Hammer because we don't have an Equipper. This means that, um, that like, Sigarda's Aids are still very live draws. Um, this makes their turn super awkward, right? Mm -hmm. They spent basically their entire turn killing an Esper Sentinel. Yeah. This is, like, Shadow's only good matchup in the meta. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's probably pretty accurate. Shadow, Shadow is like a very fifty-fifty deck, right? Like it's a, it's kind of like a Jund. It's kind of like Rakdos in in Pioneer, where like I don't know. I I think it's a fine deck, personally, but yeah, this is pretty awkward. We have to take, right? Yeah, we have, we have to take the hit. And. I mean, if, if we can draw a uh, a Surge, we win the game. True. <laughs> so that'd be good. That would be nuts. How about... It's like, not a Surge. Cauldra? We're like, <laughs> dude, I've drawn... Just Natty drawn the Cauldra like four times today. This is so stupid. Um... Said no, people say that. I don't think that's actually right. Because Hammer exists. Like, I don't think Murktide is much better into a lot of decks than, than Shadow is. Play Hammer, equip Shadow Spear. I think it's... I mean, they hammer, have a push. Play, I mean, yeah, they obviously have a removal spell. I think we... Yeah, the question is, does, does, playing, does playing Hammer make sense? I don't know that it does. I think we attack with both Constructs and then play Sanctifier. That makes sense to me. Sanctifier grows Murktide by two. two. Not enough to kill us. Exactly. <laughs> Which, that's the relevant part. Yeah. Shh. 
Got it. Oh, yeah. I guess no matter what, they would have responded. This does grow the Merc Tide by one more. Yeah, so now it's dead. an 8 8, but still not enough to kill us. So if we can dodge Lightning Bolt, we live. That's true, yeah. Okay. Go. I think we hold the hammer. Yeah. Because aid, we just go aid, hammer the Sanct Fire, kill them. That's I mean, they, exactly they very I'm likely at. will be able to, to kill. Oh, that's just lethal. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Three. <sighs> Game three. All right. Are yeah. we changing anything? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I don't hate the mana tithe, but I think this is fine. Or not the mana tithe, the uh, arch. But I think you could cut a drum from. Oh, we already cut a drum. Yeah, keep this. <laughs> this is great. I don't know, Sedna. I do not think discard spells are weak, man. Discard spells are really powerful. But, I mean, they have their downsides, but. All right, what do we think of this? It's like pretty terrible. <laughs> okay. I'll mull. I'll mull. You know, I'm going to see pretty, the snap key from j -Lid, but... Pretty terrible. The sand's Whoa, so terrible. Whoa, demonic tutors. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, man. Ooh. What a raid. Good God. Coming in just to good, watch us get bodied. j snap keep. Just snap it off. It is solitude hammer, yep. All right, well, uh, we, we can... mull this, too. Yeah, Elevation, like... thank you very much. All right, here's a... Good and right great. We just get rid of Solitude uh, Hammer? What do you think of that? Probably. I want to keep the Solitude, but yeah, we probably bought no, the Solitude No way, hammer. man. We're down to five cards. I'm not trying to two for one myself in this game. Yeah. Uh, so the thing is, they've already shown that their their range is keep a monkey one land hand. Well, their range is keep monkey thought sees unholy heat one land, right? That that was their keep, I sure. promise. That was in yeah. their opening seven was thought sees blood crypt monkey heat. Because I would keep that all day too. Absolutely. Okay. Um anyway, uh we just go planes go. Easy peasy. Scoop down. I'm Alpine fine. Moon. Yeah, I mean if they if they have Alpine Moon, they got us pretty pretty <laughs> abnormal like they probably don't play very many it'd probably be a one of maybe a two of but amulet's not very popular right now so i, I can't even imagine alpine moon is very many copies in their deck yeah i mean like we can't play around everything so i'm fine with this yeah and we're down to five like whatever you know we gotta saga can kind of replenish oh, oh there you go right. yep all right Great, because it also thought sees proofs our hand. <laughs> um, this is actually really interesting. Yeah, I th think we just get a Cauldra. All right, I think I agree. Yep. My point was maybe ship second saga. I know what your point was, but then we don't have enough mana to even activate the first saga, right? Yeah. If we don't have three lands, I'm not keeping this hand. I mean, if I have to, I will, but. I mean... Tagging the monkey, for sure. Okay, cool. I'm just going to do yeah. it now, then. Yeah, I'm just got to... I'm not happy, it. but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about it at all, either, but... I do think I agree. If they kept a one-lander again, especially... Steam Vents is a lot worse than Blood Crypt. Blood Crypt is a much better land for them than Steam Vents. Absolutely. Steam Vents, one of the worst <laughs> lands in the deck... <laughs> oh my god, I don't think they have another land. Okay, let's go, dude. Called shot. Called let's shot. Let's go, dude. All right, we just need them to keep missing. Non saga. Non saga land right here. Okay. I don't cool. hate it. I don't hate it I don't either, hate man. That. It's pretty freaking good. <laughs> All right. If that had been a non saga land, hold oh, on. goes GG, dude. Come on, they're an EE -E dress down deck. Get out of here. It's not GG. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> make, make, make Come on, scary. man! Uh, GG! MTG! <laughs> GG! Oh, uh, dude! Oh, what a beating! Come on, man! <laughs> oh, Alex, thank you! Yes, yes, yes. I don't 
disagree. You think they'll name Ink Moth Nexus? Nope. Oh, I don't damn. think they will name Ink Moth Nexus. Ducks. Oh my god. Well, that's... Oh, that's probably game, chat. For I mean, all the maybe. hammer players that I've beaten with Shadow, this is just kind of revenge. Well, Sick. Let's get in there for one. One. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That sucked. Yeah, that did suck. Hopefully nothing like that happens to me at NR. What, consider? In okay, dude. That I mean, they are playing Murktide, but. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Like, anything. this guy could do anything. God dang it, dude. That's got to be, like, a one of. Maybe a two of tops. It's so frustrating. And yeah. All right, cool. one you. Just my favorite part about Alpine Moon is they also want to pop EE -E for one in this matchup. Jalid, no, I'm I'm probably playing Rhinos, but we'll see. I'll play a little more Hammer. I mean, this deck is really fun. This deck is way more fun than Rhinos. Way more interesting oh, yeah. to me than Rhinos. Ooh, another. Another, yep. yep. Another Mankey. Big trouble. Big trouble. Nice. I think, I think we just pass. Yeah, we definitely pass. I yeah. agree 100%. If they attack, we just get to block Surge. Yeah. Same with removal spell. <laughs> if they removal spell, we Surge. Surge. And a lot of people miss the second part of Surge, so they might still attack. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're sure your microwave oven works well i don't even know what that means but that's hilarious what i don't know what that means man it's funny but why are we scared of green decks with hammer no. i'm not worried about them <laughs> are we just playing uh. paladin Probably, yeah. <laughs> Can't imagine we're not. Again. Oil, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You gotta warm up your deck in the microwave so it draws hot. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it does need to draw better than Rhinos does, for sure. Because Rhinos is just... You just need to draw a Cascader, one Cascader, and you're just doing your thing. Whereas Hammer, like you need a couple pieces to come together. And that's, like, why the Cascade decks are so stupid. It's, like, True. all you need is a, cas a card with Cascade on it, and you're, it's just a one-card combo, which is why the decks are, like, so good. I'm just trading Construct here, right? I think so. Yeah, okay, cool. Third Monkey, here it comes. I'm ready. <laughs> Every game. Green decks tend to play Force of Vigor. Well, we've seen how insane uh, yeah. Surge is Force of Vigor, so. Force of Vigor is no longer something I'm scared of. Yeah. Eon 2? Sure. Okay. I need to brainstorm, shuffle that back into... Yeah, I do, don't I? All right, we're going to try and draw... Draw Stone Hammer, Fortress. Hammer, Hammer, uh, Paradise Mantle here. There you go. There you go. See, that's thinking with Hammers. Um. All right. Well. Mm. Hear me out. We're so far behind. I kind of just want a solitude pitch aid play second paladin attack. And then yep, that's actually where I'm at too. Draw equipment, so we might just go buck wild. So. Cool. I I agree with that. They also don't have any black mana. Yeah. So. Pitch aid play paladin. Yep, that's everybody agrees. <laughs> Glad we're we're all on the same page here. All right. I do have to be. My clock is getting kind of low. I'm gonna start hitting F6 yeah. a little more. News is we don't have many decisions. Yeah, so. yeah, very true. Do they play fury? No, not usually. I mean, this guy might because yeah, we've <laughs> no! already. I, I yeah. I mean, if they do, they do. Whatever. Double hammer off the top. Yeah, double hammer. Okay, that's pretty lame. Oh, 
Okay. Perfect. Well, That's I, a card we can pitch to another solitude. Yeah, I kind of want to just cast it, to be honest. Really? Yeah, because then if we draw hammer, we just equip the pure steel. You can just do that next turn, right? That's true. If we draw it, okay, so we'll just wait. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, they don't have black mana. Sure. No, people people is? crap on hammer constantly, so. <laughs> e for two. Okay. We're going to draw a needle or march. Yeah, I'm still very happy to just go like hammer, hammer, uh. paradise mantle. Let's just do that plan god dang it dang Perfect. it <laughs> Two years. excellent your hands just a bunch of black cards yeah <laughs> I, guess I, play this. I think um is hammer still good yeah i mean i think so uh i think what what maybe got us this game is once we decided that we were going to solitude pitch Stoneforge, we probably should have got Hammer instead of this call. I agree. Yeah, that that was where we probably lost this game. We may have lost anyway. I mean, given given these draws, but I mean, we we also mold to five and got double sinkhold. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If they don't have the Alpine Moon, I I don't know how they're winning. Yeah, this yeah, game. we we probably would have won. Classic. All right. I told you a card to pitch Two to solitude. Here. Let's go. <laughs> hitting the f6 button oh, yeah maybe they uh they'll like shock play a shadow and then do it again the next turn Are they Chalice, it's because oh. i copied the deck from a 5-0 or should i say my teammate chris smith copied the deck from a 5-0 and told me to play it it's very possible that char is broken in that deck um it's not one i built myself it's one we found in the dump that looked pretty cool the only thing i changed is there was like, oh, we're dead. We're so dead. Oh, Black they can mana. cast spells. Yeah, over. The stupid thing is he's cast spells all game off the worst land in his deck. All right, well. Yeah, we can pack it in. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to, we're going to go through this till the brutal end here. <laughs> Got no, it. No quit in me. Taking all the psychic damage. They nor no, not usually, but they're a Murktide deck. This guy's on Murktide, not Gigantha, so that's why they're doing it. <laughs> All right, we're going to draw Ink Moth Nexus. <laughs> Solitude. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a good start. That's definitely a good start here. Three more turns, yeah. I need two. <laughs> I just need two turns. Yeah, they're. I think they're gonna go shadow shadow here. I'm feeling that very much. Uh huh. If they shadow shadow, get to and we draw a solitude. They lose the game, right? We would at least have a chance. Okay. Now they take the aid. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. Nice. Right Perfect. on time. Right on time. Right on time. <laughs> All right, we're going to concede here. All right, so we're going to – I'm not going to have us hop in another one because I need to be off by about 5 o'clock, but let's do kind of like – Let's talk a little bit about how these games went, about um, what you think of the deck, uh, kind of like why why do you think we lost those games, um, stuff like that. So let me pull the deck list up again. But, yeah, okay. So firstly, I guess, would be maybe talk about, again, how, how does the deck look differently with the Lord of the Rings set coming out? Yeah, so we cut the worst card in the deck, uh, Core Outfitter. Yep. And we cut the, uh, where did it go? And we move one of the surges to the sideboard. Okay. And you're playing two of these Forge News. Correct. Do you think Forge New would have helped us in any of the matchups that we lost? Yeah, I think so. So I, I, I would have to go back through, but like any deck with EE 
um, post board, it gets to reanimate one of your hammers and then it's another equipper. Um, it's also an equipper that is, so the weakness of Sigar Aid, right, is that it only gets one equip. Janu equips every turn. So it makes it a lot harder for the opponents to play around. Um, but then also in the later game, if they've, say, shattered one of your equipment, especially post board, it lets you bring those back. Um, the other piece is it lets you equip an instant speed on your turn. So one, that's just good on its own, right? You just attack with two or three creatures and then whatever they don't block, they just take 10 with. Um, the other the other piece that I think people are not really putting together is Stigard is eight is good and Paladin is good. But they don't necessarily play super well together. Like they don't actively complement each other. No. Whereas Forgenu, if you have Forgenu in play alongside either Stigard is eight or Paladin, both of them are now much better, right? So if I have eight in play and I have Forgenu, I cast a hammer. Yeah. The opponent now has to kill all of my creatures in response because when I target, I kill that. But if it's a removal spell with like burn, then I just attach it again at instant speed. Okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah. And then Paladin, of course, on your turn, you can now move all of your equipment at instant speed the entire turn. Real quick, too, while we have this huge amount of viewers, again, big, big shout out for the raid. I'm going to have to, who who gave us that raid? I for, uh, Demonic Tutors. Demonic right? Tutors. Yeah, so I'm going to have to shout out Demonic Tutors uh, for sure today. Um, but I'm about to head off for a Lord of the Rings pre-release for those that are hanging out watching. But Larry Fields is going to be on tonight doing the uh, modern challenge with Dredge, modern Dredge. So if you're interested in that, he'll be on around, I think, 830-ish. Um, so there will be a, a slight break in the action, but anybody who wants to come back tonight, we'd, we'd love to have you. Um, but anyway, um, and then with the, with the new Forge news, does the sideboard change at all? So you said there'd be a second surge. There'd be the fourth surge in the board, and you're cutting the Sanctifier. Is that correct? That is correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Shadow... Shadow was just like a re honestly, all of our losses were kind of unfortunate pairings, right? Living end is kind of hard. Mm. We lost a living end. We lost a four color bring the light. I don't even know if that matchup should really be that bad in theory, but I don't know. If, uh, do, you, do you have a ton of experience with that matchup? So I, I haven't played the matchup a ton, but it has not felt remotely close basically any of the times I've played it. Okay. But I also drew like not garbage. Uh, okay, you've <laughs> so that it every time you've played it is what you're yeah, saying. Like, yeah, like, okay. Specifically, like the normal quote unquote stock version of Hammer, I think has a lot more trouble, but because we have Solitude, just being able to tag the Dryad while pressuring them, it makes it so hard for them to actually scape shift kill you. Yeah, okay. And Jalen, yeah, clearly that's why we lost. We didn't just snap keep every seven. That's definitely why we lost. <laughs> what are we thinking? Yeah, silly us. <laughs> and then in response to um, MTG, when does Lord of the Rings release on MTGO? I have no idea. Um, does anybody, anybody have an answer to that? I say it releases on like Wednesday, probably during the update. There might be drafts before then. Yeah, but... Wednesday with the yeah the, the update that makes sense. I would imagine that's probably correct. So you're not gonna have to worry about it for about a week still um, online. So that's kind of cool because the cards aren't actually even legal to play in constructed until next. Is that right? Until next week. It is legal this weekend. Oh, it is legal this week. Oh yeah. Did yeah. you say are you going to an event and playing Forge New? Did you say you're doing yeah, I'm that? playing I'm playing in the Apex 5K this weekend. Awesome, dude. Well, good luck in that. That'll be fun. <laughs> Appreciate um, it. Yeah, man. It was really cool having you on. We we appreciate uh getting getting your insight. I definitely appreciated getting the insight. I would not have been nearly um as informative playing it on my own, and I'm sure I would have kept some of those hands that were bad. Uh, that's like the hardest thing with hammer is like knowing how to mulligan well. Yep. Um, and like I said, that's like it's part, part of the reason I've played rhinos in modern for, for the last like three competitive events I've played is like, I don't really enjoy modern very much at all. Uh, this deck was actually fun, but a lot, a lot of the, the gameplay and, and stuff I really don't like. Um, so I haven't tested a lot of modern. Uh, and so rhinos is just like a deck that you can just pick up and, oops, I win a lot of games because the deck's just, like, really powerful and all you really have to do is, like, know when two-for-one-ing yourself makes sense and know what cards matter on, like, force of negation. But, like, the mulligan heuristic is so simple in that deck. You just mulligan to a card that says Cascade. Like, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Seriously, seriously, like, it's it's so dumb. Like, it's so simple. Uh, but anyway, all right. 
we're we're about to head off here, chat. I've got to get ready for the pre-release. I still need to uh, shower up after playing pickleball this morning. But thanks, Elk, for for hanging out. It was fun, man. And we'll uh, we'll hopefully do this again in the future at some point. This was really fun. Yeah, for sure, definitely down. Just let me know. All right, sounds good. All right, everybody, I'm going to take off. And remember that Larry, again, is going to be on in about three hours. So if you want to check that out, he'll be on. Uh, in fact, I should probably do a raid here, too, with this many people, certainly. So let's go ahead and, and do a raid. Uh, who we got? Who do we got? Magic Academy. I can't believe Doomwake isn't on right now. He's typically been a guy we've been. Let's see. A lot of names I don't recognize right now. Let's see. There we go. Uh, Corticals. Corticals might be a good one. He's playing limited, it looks like. Oh, he's probably doing the early access, I bet. Nobody's streaming Magic. Uh, there are definitely people streaming Magic, but I know that the early access events today, so it might be pretty hard to find people doing modern. <laughs> Succulent, yeah, you could hop on and do more modern for people, I guess. Play some modern spirits. Um, I think I'm just going to send people over to quarter calls, though. All right, everybody. Appreciate it. And Larry will be on later tonight. And I might be on Sunday for a challenge. We'll see. But we'll catch you guys then. Thanks for hanging out. Succulent, you need to play basketball. Why does he need to play basketball? All right. And I think we're good. Yes, we are. All right. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out.